What's up, everybody? This is Batman Beyond 644's Revenge. And today we have a very, very special guest. We have Blind Assassin MGTOW. How you doing, brother? Welcome to the stream, brother. Introduce Thank yourself you. to everybody. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. It's been while doing videos, believe it or not, I've just been working lately and just trying to like get some topics off my chest for real, for real. Man, it's been striving a bit. I feel you, man. And again, man, shout out to you, man. You're making great content. You're right. You're very yeah. diverse in what you do, man. And you're reaching out to men, man. Because a lot of us, man, we're going through shit, man. This society hates us because we're men. And they hate the fact that we're waking brothers up. Because oh, this yeah. is the system, this society, they want us to be slaves, man. They want yeah. us to basically work hard so they can benefit off the back of us. And we're saying, no, nah, fuck that. We're going to go our own way, whether they like it or not. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. Speak to the crowd. I'm going to go get my chimichangas out the oven. Go ahead, brother. Speak your piece. Yeah. I mean, it's been, like, really, you know, crazy. And you have, like, women out here, like, creating this, like, it's like a cuckold like providing like generating open relationships and people think that's the norm and that's not really the norm and it just it's not that cool and it just destroying marriages like violating you know you know they're the destroying happy homes and don't get it twisted like you have like r b music in the 90s is having like his dark side meaning that it has like a, you know, a, it provides this Sam, Samson Delilah mentality, if you will. You know, like it's, it's not okay, man. And like I just be seeing like the the total bull crap that is going on in society, and it's not okay. And like that's why it just generated infuriation and anger and. You know, it's, it's, it's just, like, intolerable. And I don't know, man. Like, it, it's just, like, people are just having, like, dark roads. And morals are slowly but surely extinct, uh, if, you, if you let it to be. But alone, it's just hearts are really turning cold right now. So, yeah. And you're right, man. It's, it's getting really bad. Um, the, the division is really strong. The elites have this yeah. all planned out. Um, and we, we all know at the end of the day, it's all about control in, in that paper, the damn dollar. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll definitely get, get to that later in the show. But, but let everybody know, you know, uh, you, you don't have to give all your information, but, you know, tell everybody about yourself and, you know, you know, the overall spectrum of you and what led you to be a MGTOW, man, if you want. And, and share what you want to share. You don't have to give all the details. It's whatever you're comfortable with, brother. Uh, well, you want me to, like, give general information? Or not general information, but um, just who I am and what I do? Yeah, yeah, you know, whatever you want to share, brother. Yeah, yeah. Um, I am Blind Assassin. Uh, I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Um uh, to be fair, uh, I actually um, wanted to do like become an electrician. I actually wanted to become an entrepreneur, but that can like come later. I'm just trying to stack up some currency. Um, but just want to like go to become an electrician, you know, staying on the right path, um, you know, staying on target about things. And I have like two degrees in two different colleges. Um, in Ohio alone, and it's um, like I I just been like I just want to change something because ever since COVID had actually occurred, I wanted to um, I basically just wanted to uh, you know start something different you know because I have to admit I was like with my mom. And 
it, it was just like a total like say it's like an enmeshment with between me and her and like she comes toxic and she's like bipolar and stuff and like it it didn't turn out to be good no i love my mom get twisted it's just that the narcissism the gaslighting that's been like put in front of me less to like trauma and fast forward um i went to you know do something real different like apprenticeship because apprenticeship is like a totally different environment versus like being in class you know sitting there and like being there for hours and just feel like constipated or just i like to move around but apprenticeship is like more hands-on and i want to do you know like so i step take it up a notch i always want to do it before COVID even started i was like searching for you know what uh type of apprentice i want to do and that was becoming an electrician so i'm taking classes right now and in fact um, i have like testing that i have to do uh for next week so mm, nice. yeah yeah and, and shout out to you um blind assessment mctow because i made a stream last year titled trades that men can get into and mm -hmm. you know me and uh the base pluto and countless others we have encouraged men to get into the trades you know right. what i'm saying because not saying that all degrees are worthless but let's just keep it real 95 percent of these degrees out here they're fucking worthless man and society has brainwashed people that oh if you have a degree then oh you're smart you're this and that so people have this ego that oh i have a degree so i'm better and, and i'm smarter than everybody but if you really think about it right are you really smarter than the person that, you know, they thought before they made that decision? Like, OK, if I get this degree, what am I going to get out of it? Because I, I I got my CDL uh, last February. Like, mm -hmm. um, I mean, this year in February. So I'm in the trucking. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm on the road and, you know, I, I got into a trade. I was in the military previous to trucking. I did the military for three years. And mm -hmm. um and now I got my CDL. That's what I've always wanted to do. And now I'm making good money, right? And I feel like brothers have an opportunity to, you know, explore those opportunities to get into entrepreneurship, you know, get that experience. And, and I'm with you on the apprenticeship stuff, man. Why are these colleges wasting our time trying to reteach us math, English, and all that? Teach us the damn uh, trade that we're trying to get into. Teach us the damn job so we can get experience. So when we get out on the actual field, we can do our damn job efficiently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, we just have to, it's kind of like going through, like, an obstacle course, like, when it comes to college. You have to, like, go through this curriculum, go through that curriculum. And it's, like, really, it's like being in the second middle of a traffic jam, you know? It's, like, it's hard to get to, you're in plan A, but it's hard to get to plan B. And it's, like, you have to take years, years of commitment just to, like, get a degree. But for, like, apprenticeship, it's, it's weird, but it's it's not like it's worse than college because it's like it takes like eight years to like, you know, accomplish something. But in the long run, you get paid like it's you get paid like that. Like you get paid real like uh, when you get started, like because they'll like pick you up, like put you in a certain. Um, what is it? A certain because was it like a certain job because i'm in telecom and what's interesting about telecom is it's like a few people in telecom like me uh which is telecommunications in case nobody never heard about it but um you have like inside wiremen and i want to do telecommunications because like um i want to get into information technology which dates back to me like when covid started i want to do like it and that was like in later of 2019. So when I when I want to do that, um, like I just didn't want to do like college. Um, I really didn't. I hated college personally because it's like you got to wake up every morning, you know, just you know, wasting time like study like for the class for that class in the morning, and. I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I just wanted to, like, like do something quick, like, making easy money instead of, like, doing, like, a side job, like, afterwards, you know? 
I agree with you, man. I just wish that our parents, um, I mean, the boomers, right? I'm pretty sure your parents are boomers like mine. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. My mom was born in 1960, like literally 1960. So, <laughs> round a dot. Yeah, because you hear a lot of parents say, hey, go to college, go to college, go to college, but they don't tell the kids what to major in, you know, what's in demand, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Right. And we, 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 we have been conditioned as society that you have to go to college. So a lot of, a lot of students, right. They're putting all this pressure on themselves. Well, my mom went to Virginia tech. Uh, my dad mm -hmm. went to Virginia tech. So I have to go to Virginia tech, but do you really want to do that? Are you doing it for you or are you doing it for others? You know what I'm saying? Right. Because society, what I see right now that's going on, people want validation, bro. People want validation and people are paying right. the price for trying to seek validation. Mm. Okay, okay. People will say, hey man, congratulations on your degree. Congratulations. After that, now what? You have fifty thousand dollars in student debt. Mm -hmm. you're, you're working a dead end job. Okay, you got those degrees, but it's not you're not putting it to use. Yeah, you, so right. so you got the validation, but you're not reaping the long term benefits from it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, and that and the fact is, is like with um it's like with my mom, she wanted me to like go to college. And I, I definitely don't want to do like college because she she's actually clueless to like what I want to do. And like you say, get a degree, like degree in what? And it's like my mom didn't then went to college as like when she got out of high school. God knows what she ever did. But again, that was that was not really my calling for real because college is like really hard as hell. Um, basically, like you said, seeking validation, have like a certain like GPA to be like sororities and fraternities and like all that weird satanic stuff. And I never like got into that because it is like hard to fit in. Like it's, you know, it's like a complex environment you're in, but you're like indoctrinated in like certain settings, you know? And it's just like my mom just like really includes like what I wanted to do. She don't even know what's my favorite subject. So again, like my true, my true um, goal in life was become an entrepreneur. Still is, it's just that I'm just trying to create capital and currency for myself and like be in my own way. Um, you know, just want to like be a man and like, even though I'm one of those statistics that like came from her father to society, but you know, things can be like rectified and like modified. So, you know, I'm just like staying on that narrow path of like what, you know, why I can create my reality in instead of like creating somebody else's reality. That's, you know, which is like cardboarded and like fabricated, you know. Amen. Definitely, man. And and you will achieve those goals, man. Just keep grinding, um, keep putting in the work. And, and I'm glad that me and you that we mentioned, you know, trades and all that. And talk to all the people that are watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. And also subscribe to Blind Assassin Mitow's channel. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm gonna put the link to his um channel in the chat. Please subscribe to this brother. He has a lot of knowledge. He's, he's very diverse. So I encourage all you guys to please comment, like, and subscribe, share the stream, and also subscribe to Brother Blind Assessment MGTOWs. So Blind so, so, so Blind Assessment MGTOW, what led you to be a MGTOW? Um, well, let it be MGTOW. Um, it's interesting because I don't know. I was like really unorthodox. Um you know, like I, I see, because I was like a black sheet to begin with. I didn't want to create like a novel of myself in this live stream, but um, basically, like I just like my mom was like it started for my mom just, you know, getting jealous and like having like negative, you know, energy towards me, and then I have like other females outside of home that's like jealous or like making fun of me or like pushing me around and like and 
you know, like I wasn't worth it, you know, I wasn't enough, like, you know, I didn't, like, I wasn't handsome, and I was just being making fun of by women, and men included, and, um, like, years, years later, um, I was just, like, I never, I have to admit that I'm a virgin, never had, like, sex, I never done anything that's, like, involved, like, with clubs and bars, like, I was just, like, you know, a different person, like, I was in the Matrix, not in the Matrix, um, I was just, like, real clean, and, like, I was, like, in the Bible, my grandma gave me the Bible, and she, um, she came and led on that path, but I was just, like, remaining single, a uh, guy of a short-term gaslighting relationship at that around 2019 that didn't last long. Um, and so I know she doesn't know how to cook, you know. So it was like I, I didn't really, you know, got into like Western society women because it was just I see their errors, their um, like uh, what is that word? Uh, they they have like a malignant vibe, you know. Like just want like create a nemesis like of themselves and others for no apparent reason. You mean like uh, pettiness? Um, what's that? I'm sorry. Petty, being petty. Yeah, like that being petty and like um, there's like a I always have like opposition of like women out of nowhere. It's just like either like jealousy or like. And then, and it's like black black women to be specific in the community. Oh man, <laughs> they they just like to like like because outside of my the, my race in the West society, don't get me wrong, it's like white mixture of white and Hispanic women and other races don't like they treat me different than black women. Put it that way. Um, certain black women, a few like treat me like a, a human, but you have others that like. You know, brush me off to the side like I'm not sufficient or I'm not enough, and I get that to this day. But you know, I'm just remaining strong with like the Holy Spirit. So, and, and amen to that, man. Um, and shout out to you. And, and there's no shame in being a virgin. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it, it isn't. It's it's just a shaming tactic. And you know how like people back in the 2010s and like. Um, I don't think people use that. Well, people still use that now, but it's like, like if you don't get any, then like you being bound to make fun of, or like you're just like they'll put you on spot, and that's what happened to my in my teens and my early twenties. Um, I'm I'm 30 now, so it's like mm-hmm. I, I don't I don't care I don't really care about that now. It's just real childish to me. Yeah, it is dumb because, and this is why a lot of men get effed up today. And then I'll say this, not, not saying that, that, that you care about sex at all, because no homo, you're not a bad looking guy. You know what I'm saying? You're not a bad looking yeah. guy. I'm pretty sure you can get a chick you want to, but that's not your main focus, man. Your focus is to achieve your goals and your dreams and live a, a you know an easy, simple life. For me, for right. example, right? right. Um, I was a virgin until 23. I lost it when I was in the, was it when I was in the military. Um, I, I did all that. And then yeah. looking back now to me, it, it really wasn't all that special. It felt good. Don't get me wrong, but it's yeah, not yeah. a whole thing. T- it's not the true meaning of life, man. But the true thing is like, are, are you happy? Um, cause I believe in God too. You know what I'm saying? I believe in God too. And, and yeah. I pray and, and, and I'll tell everybody this on stream. I ask God to forgive me. I ask him to forgive me for, you know, and if that's just me speaking. I'm not to all people that are not religious. I'm not trying to tell them what to do or anything. Right. But, but as a man, we have been falsely conditioned to believe that our manhood is predicated to how many women we sleep with. And that's just not the case, because when we die, right, mm-hmm. when we stand before holy God, and I'm and again, I'm not trying to be all religious and everything. But when we be judged, right, mm-hmm. do you think that? All of them you slept with, you think you're going to get a prize for that? No, you're gone. So why not be productive with your life? And and, and, and I'm not telling guys not to have sex at all. That's your decision. You know what I'm right. saying? But, but, but blindness has a mix. All these guys, 
that do that. I want to ask you this. The people that make fun of you um, and all that, where are they at in life? Because you have your own place. You have your own car. Not saying that, you know, that, that saying, not saying that you're saying that you're all that, but where are those people at in life versus you? Because guess what? You're good. You're healthy. You're alive. You're doing your thing. You're grinding. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get to that. Like you have, like I have friends, like one, uh, yeah, I have like friends that like question me, like how are the ladies and like, you know, like I get questioned about, um, about that. And like, it's starting to get on my nerves around like, I would say like 20, it's like 2015 and then like went all the way up in early 2020s. And I have like, friends that have like a one has like a like two baby mamas and what trying to kind of trip me out and i'm gonna say this but sorry if i'm gonna say this but go ahead uh, man the floor is all yours man go ahead this is uncensored on this channel speak your piece oh no 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 um I, i'm just like saying this to a friend of mine but he actually had um he was like in his 20s mind you and he was like 50 like he met this girl and she was like 15 and um this is like back in 2012 and now they have like they like fast forward down the road um they had a kid with each other and then they broke up and that same so-called friend of mine has like a different lady and they have a kid so in the result he has two baby mamas and so he had to deal with that. He stressed out. Um, you know, like, like that, that's on him. Like, this is what happens when you be curious. This is what happens, like, when you cheat and, like, trying to find other women to, like, seek validation and fulfill your needs. So, um, and I have, like, another friend, uh, he got cheated on <laughs> by a box, like a boxer, boxing trainer. Um, and I think this happened around like 2019 or 2020. And a friend of mine told me about it. And and the funny thing about it, like no pun intended, um, it was called the Boom Boom Room. It's like, uh, it's I know it's like a, um, like a, it was, we are on the boomer rooms and like other terms back in the day, but it was like another one with like a boxing training. And so the boxer trainer actually after his girl and then um, turns out he found out about it and he gained like he was like a really like a narcissist. And he was like egotistical and like he was like a wannabe like taking selfies and like um, I'm. And by the way, his mom died, and I know his mom. His mom was a good person, and don't get get it twisted. But it was just that, like, I think, like, uh, not trying to have like a dark cloud or like show any ill will, but I think that was like karma, was, like, in the sense that saying that, like, well, like you just gotta like humble yourself, like you gotta let go of this negative energy, narcissism, because he was like jealous of me and my friend. Um, he even cheated like on my other friend. Um, so it was like it was just like jealousy on top of jealousy, and it was like grudges. And I just had to stay away from him, and I blocked him from Facebook and like other social media platforms. So it was like he's like four years younger than me, and I have a friend that's like uh, the friend I'm talking about with the two baby mamas, his friend. He's actually like six months older than me, so we're same age. But I just didn't want to deal with him, man. Like, like that. That's where they're at now. And plus, the friend uh, that's like four years younger than me, he has like, um, he has like, he gained some weight, and he's like taller than me. So he usually like be skinny and stuff, and like he never washes up too. Like, but common between my friends are interesting. They they never washed up. And they only care about women and like it was just it was just like not part of my path, you know. It was like that's why I was like different from them and like just wanted to do what like I wanted to do and like 
like what are my goals and what are my mindsets so that mm -hmm. was like i just want to get into that not get into that narrow path and that's good man and, and at the end of the day and shout out to jarell kemp in the chat it's, it's your choice man and yep. your friends wanted to man i want to get all the girls and and, and all that and your local curry sale. Do you guys really not care about being ready? Here's the thing, local curry sale. Shout out to you, man. Not every guy cares about females like that. Right. I, I personally don't. You know, it's no, it's no ill will or anything because because to me, for what I've seen, and, and people laugh at me when I, when I say this, but it's true. I always say this uh, blind says MGTOW, they're just not good people. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> they right. be doing some, you know, I've been hearing story, man, the stories that I've heard, uh, bro, it, 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 it'll make your skin crawl. Now, I, me, I'm MGTOW Monk, so I don't, I don't deal with females at all. Mm -hmm. I personally just do me, handle my business, and, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what gives me peace. I don't have to mm -hmm. worry about having kids and all that. I, I, I'm not going to have kids at all. I'm personally choosing not to have kids at all. Um, I, I like, you know, being alone. Uh, I still have friends and all that, but my peace of solitude and freedom is what matters to me, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, I, I don't know. Like I don't want to have kids. It's like, if I do, it'd be like overseas, like, um, West, like Western society. Um, I just didn't want to like have kids here for sure. Unless it's like, you know, like the guidelines are supposed to be like more standard and like more, if your woman is like 100%, not 100% committed, well, yeah, 100%, put it that way. But, you know, um, like I, like my idealistic, you know, you know, my ideal mate would be pretty much like a Southeast Asian woman because Southeast Asian women are more caring, more devoted, um, more, uh, you know, faithful and like I like I just want to like seek connection with a woman. It's just that like um, the difference is between me, of course, I don't really simp because I I used to like simp in the early twenty uh, early yeah my early twenties. But yeah, I was right, my early twenties in the early twenty tens, and I kind of like died that down in twenty. 14 or 2013 ever since my grandfather had passed away and i've just been surrounded by like just bad bad omen of women uh just trying to like seek like manhood and like um you know guidance and again like just you know trying to like uh what what really man is all about like I always question like is it worth being a simp and or is it worth like if I get all these women for like validation is that's what the world is yearning for or what is it craving we, we can't really crave on something that's like short-lived you know you gotta crave on something that's really mean something to us like, what's our deepest passion besides sex? Amen to that. Um, um, unfortunately, a, a lot of guys, they're, they're, they're going to simp. Um, they're going to do whatever it takes to get these females, man. And to me, in my opinion, um, and, and I don't know if you saw my content or not, but I'm very blunt in what I say. And, you know, I'm very, I just keep it honest, man. Uh, most of these chicks, man, they're trash, man. I mean, I've been, the, the shit that happened to me, and if you want to share your experience that happened with you, like bad experience, like being accused or something, or the shit that they said or or did, because I know a lot of guys, man, they really got fucked up, fucked over, man. And, and, and it's sad, we're not respected. And mm -hmm. um, and, and, and Blind just has a MGTOW. I've noticed, I, mean, I've, I knew this, but these chicks don't want good men, bro. They always go and it's premeditated. They always go for the bad dudes, and then, and and, and they, they still know that you kind of exist, but they're kind of waiting for you to get your bag. They want they're kind of waiting for you to get your career going, so they mm -hmm. can basically leech off of your uh, leech off of your, your success, man. 
when they had nothing to do with it. And that's what's going on in this Western society now. Women overseas can do that shit too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Female nature is universal. The thing is over there is that the women there are all, they're held in check more. But but overall, man, um, men are not respected anymore. A lot of men are not fighting back. A lot of men are not together. And you, you got men selling out other men for these chicks. And 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 I think it's I think it's some weak shit, man. Excuse my language, it's some weak shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. You see your brunt, you see your you see your like for example, if I was walking down the street and I see some chicks making fun of a dude because the way he looks, man, I'm gonna go tell them chicks, yo, fuck off. Why are you making fun of him for? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he looks a certain way. That dude may be one of y'all bosses in the future. Be careful who you make fun of. Right. Because karma can really get you back. And and how's your I want to ask you this, and I know a lot of guys are gonna love this. How were the females in your college? Um I, I, I know that you didn't. I know you you hung, you uh, did your thing and and all that. But, but but from what you saw, if you can remember, how were the chicks back in your college? Because I talked to dudes that were in college. They told me, Batman, they are vicious. They don't care. They they don't give a damn. Yeah, I'm gonna get into that. Yeah, like um, the the women there in my college. Um, like they were like kind of like nice to me. Um, some of them were like unemotional, like as far as like being a reception desk, uh, and like some are like my like put off or like they have um, unapproachable, uh, you know, vibe, you know, and like uh, I just been. There are certain times that I like I was I wanted to like talk to a woman, but it was like they just have like this fabricated aura about themselves. And like uh like when like they they liked me on the low because I was like handsome and stuff, but um like shout out to Brazil Yesh. I watched his live stream and it kinda I have like a flashback what you were saying about like women in Western society that women uh quote unquote are socially inept, like socially awkward. Like it, like say if I compliment a woman, like they'll say thank you, or like they just like you know, give you a mean look as if you said something real bad to them. But like if like women are scared to like accomplish like you know compliment a man but it like most likely towards a, a older woman you know an older woman can actually um can actually talk to you like they'll like uh they're approachable and um you know but um women around my age are socially inept and definitely younger of course like they don't know how to carry a conversation like i've been saying like one of my videos uh, a while back saying like women like they they have like they'll say something like uh they'll say they'll talk negative about somebody or like have like a carry like a certain, certain grudge but if you like you're a man that carries yourself a certain type of way they just like kind of halt their verbal uh they no they halt their communication towards their female friends and they'll just start looking at you and they don't know what to say or they don't know what well, like what to do with themselves so it's like women i understand women's communication and men's are totally different it's just that like you have rare women that like actually can um you know it's a rarity that women can like come to you and like you know talk to you like i'll give you a prime example i remember uh it was a i went to starbucks um and um i was like far away from her it was like back in 2018 that was like the year i graduated my second mother college and um I was wearing like a Cincinnati State shirt and I was just like, 
you know, just chilling and stuff. And she was like looking towards my direction. And I looked at her. She looked the other way. Then she was, we were just like started talking and like about like different occupations. It turns out she was in Cincinnati State doing like, I think she was like a nurse and stuff. And I don't know if she was doing like online uh, classes or not. I think she did, but. Um, we had a good conversation, but I think like my my formal my actual regret is like not getting her number or exchanging numbers. But um, it was it was just one of those rare scenarios, some extreme rare scenarios that like women uh, can talk to you like outside of your race. You like, and you have like down to earth black women that can like. Um, can talk to you in a, you know, a normal standard in a humanized manner. So you don't really, you really don't get those beneficial uh, communications from a Western woman. Uh, it's like a hit and miss. Uh, the great way to put it. Yeah, I totally understand, man. Like. Me personally, you know, and I know some people may not may not agree, man. I just don't. To me, I'll just say it like this: they all the same to me. In my opinion, they all the same to me. Yeah. Um, no matter how you dice it, what race they are, and and, and, and all that to me, because like back in the past when I talked to chicks, right? I like when we start talking to them and they be talking all nice and stuff, and I'm mm-hmm. like, man, she's different. But then as times go goes on, they start to expose themselves. They'll start to lash out at you. They start to make, uh, they start to acting like a bitch or something. It's like, huh, what's going on here? And oh yeah, yeah. I have one of those scenarios. In fact, but go ahead and uh, share if you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this goes back in t- late 2018, goes into 2019. I remember um, when I was dating this chick, she was like. Native American, Asian, mixed with like African American, and we just had. Uh, I mean, she was like really beautiful. Um, she was like shorter than me. She lived in Toledo, um, up north from Cincinnati. If people don't know where it is, but um, yeah, like uh, she was like start imitating me, and we was like both in like Tai Chi class, and like um. She was uh, she was actually pretty normal, but um, when we was like on a date, and this is when I was like really really like carless, like I didn't have a car, and that kind of like embarrassed her, and it's like um, she kind of like looked at me different. And it wasn't the same ever since, and like we keep getting on dates and more dates, and like the the narcissism starting to arise. I don't know if it was narcissism or I know it was like true female nature was exposed because um, I've just been studying MGTOW videos like before and after um, the breakup. So I was just getting like advice from friends, like close friends of mine at that. And it was, I just like needed some help. And it drove me to the point where like I was watching, like looking at Instagram models naked and stuff and like just masturbated to it. And it, it kind of like it, it was just a sign for help when you when you go to a social media platform and I like, don't know what to do with yourself. And I remember we went to like a restaurant and she confronted me about it. And like, I was like really shook, but no, like it wasn't, it was kind of like the, I was being nice, but it was just like, I was like really gullible at the time. It's like, she was just like eating up my rib, like a parasite, so to speak. And I didn't, you don't really know about it until she's like really done with you. And, um, I remember one time she almost ran me over or planned on to run me over after we came from the movies and stuff. And With her car? Yeah, it was kind of like playing, but like she wanted to like, it was seemed either, it wasn't playful, but in my vibe, in my aura, 
in my my gut feeling it felt like she was trying to hit me or something mm. now like because she was it was parked but i was like in front of it but like um like cause she didn't really have nothing to do with me and this is the same girl that didn't have like less stuff in the refrigerator because i actually visited her place and like uh, she just lacked the food in her refrigerator. She didn't know how to cook. And I was like, that that was like a med, major red flag. And I told my friend after that. And like, like it, it wasn't, it was not okay, man. Like some told me just to like cut it off early, but it was like already too late. And like, that's when like, it just darkened my world. And like, I could have been like stepped it up, like my inside of me. My inner blind assassin could have said, like, hey, like, like, speak up. Like, just say, like, you know what? I'm just going to break this off. This is too much because it's like I'm spending food on you, like, in every restaurant, but there we don't split the bill, you know? And that was, like, one of the examples of a major flag and, you know, women nowadays. And it's, she was, like, a year younger than me, too, so that's more understandable and, like, made sense. So it was just, it was just non-peaceful, and you know. Yeah, man. Um, I've never really had a relationship. Um, That's cool. Um, years ago, I wanted one. I, I was one of those guys uh, when I was younger, around eighteen. I wanted to get married and have a kids and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I and I've taken women out on dates and stuff and. I get to know them, but they be playing games. They be flaking on me, blocking oh, yeah. me, doing all that BS. And then I've been dealing with it. I was like, hey, you know, it, it's just not going to work. You know, on to the next one. And I kept doing the same thing. On to the next one. On to the next one. And then when I was in the military, I was, you know, I was doing my thing and all that. But 2019, I saw um, a 33 Secrets, uh, Don't Date Single Mothers, because I was like, Mm-hmm. I was dating. A, I was I was messing with a single mother at the time, and after I yeah. saw that video, it was a reptile video. I, I stopped messing with her. I left her alone, and of course, she got upset. And then eventually, I, I became red pilled, and then um, I, I know about the black pill, and now I'm, I'm Midtown Monk, and I have no regrets for it, man. Like, I don't want to be mean or rude, but I gotta be honest, man. But these these chicks doing a purpose. I know that we say that. You know, society's doing this and that. And I got to be honest with you, man. These women know what they're doing. They know that a lot of men in this, you know, in the West, they're, they're, they're weak minded. They're not they don't have the balls to stand up and not tolerate their shit because I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Because I live alone right. and I don't allow women in, in my crib no more. Uh, uh-uh, No, I don't allow women in my crib. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't deal with them anyway. But my thing is women do stuff that's premeditated, right? They they purposely reject good men. And I'm not saying the good men that are Simpson. I'm talking about the good man that's like not gonna kiss your ass, not not gonna yeah. kiss your ass right. But he, he has a, a he has goals in mind and he has he has respect, he has integrity, all mm-hmm. that stuff, right? But they don't go for those dudes, so they go for the worst type of men and they purposely do it because in the back of their mind, exactly you know, they know that a lot of men are, are gonna be simps. So what they do is they, they mess with the uh, well, I, I, we, we call them Chad and Tyrone's or whatever. So they keep messing with those guys for years, right? And then after their um, Chad and Tyrone are done with them, now they want to settle for the good guy. Mm-hmm. Now, me, I'm like, uh-uh, no. It's not going to work like that. I'm not going to be the, the second or third or the fourth or fifth option. That's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. I work my butt off to get to where I'm at. And now all of a sudden, because I asked you on a date, you said no, you rejected me. So then, so so five years later, now after you're done being a, a hoe and all that stuff, now you want to talk to me? Nah, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna play that game, and and, and that's to let everybody know that's watching this. Don't, and it, it is, and it's up to you guys because I don't do relationships or dating. And to be honest with you, I don't like none of these chicks at all. I avoid them because when I was in the military, um, I worked in the office full of women. They were drama, man. They were drama. Oh yes. They were saying stuff about me behind my back, reporting me because I didn't want to talk, saying that um, I'm threatened. I'm uh, they're concerned about their safety and all that stuff. So I was like, man, I don't have time for this crap, man. Mm-hmm. So to me, in my, in my opinion, they're just not good people. Mm-hmm. 
I came to that conclusion, man. They're just not good people, man. And the chick that you mentioned, she was acting all nice at first. That's what they do. That's what they do to reel you in. They want right. you to have the sense of belief that, oh, she's nice. She's kind hearted. Man, trust me. Once, once you really dig deep, they're really not as nice or as a good person as you think they are. Women do stuff for, for opportunity. They act nice for opportunity. They're not going to be nice because they want to be. It's because they see an opportunity that arises. And men got to understand that because anybody can act nice. But see how they really act when they're in distress, when stuff hits the fan. You, you'll yeah. see the real selves come out. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I suggest everyone. Uh, I'm not for sure if people heard this movie called The Brood. Um, it's like a late 1970s horror movie. Um, it's real deep. Um, it's like more than a horror movie to me because it's based off that uh, it's a he's a really cool, cool Canadian uh, director. He goes by David Cronenberg. And on the in the ending, it's it's like really subliminal because like when um, it was this woman, uh, she had like it was like sort of a beehive and she was like, say, like she's the queen bee. Then her ghost kids or like those creatures, her minions was kind of like representing the bees. And this is like and like analogy. And. She, when the the guy, um, husband will actually like kills her. I think he shot her or stabbed her or something in the end. Then when she killed her off, then like the kids were killed off, and like it was just it was so so deep. And like it, it, I suggest everybody watch that movie. Um, there was another one called The Dead Zone with uh Steve Christopher Walken, uh, rest in peace. Um, that was a good movie too because uh, he had like head trauma. Um, I forgot what happened because I need to watch the movie again. Um, his wife or his significant his partner cheated on her, uh, cheat on him, and the way that like uh, when he was like coming back to life and like he was his, his normal live his normal lifestyle it turns out i think she was like pregnant or she didn't really have no, nothing to do with him because he was like in the hospital she didn't take care of him he was in a wheelchair and that, that's how female female nature was it was like a 1983 movie it really underrated too um it was stephen king and david cronenberg i think cronenberg was either co-producer or co-executive so um but I, I suggest be watch that. But um, horror movies, in an interesting way, um, can make you go red pill. Uh, especially, um, I know it's, I don't think it's a horror movie. I think it's like more like suspense. It's uh, Devil's Advocate with uh, Keanu Reeves and Al Pacino. So, like, mm. I just watch movies that like that I study, but I, but the most go-to movie when it comes to like body horror is the brood, uh, because it's, it's more, it has like an analogy and metaphors, especially the ending. I'm going to check that movie out. I'll it's on YouTube. Watch. Um, definitely check it out. YouTube. Yeah. 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 It's, it's definitely free. You don't have to buy it or anything. Oh, okay, cool. I'm going to check it out. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, when you take that red pill, man, it's a lot to discover in the world. You know, a lot of things, man, politics, uh, science, um, just people in general, man, because we were brought up to believe in certain things and we just do it because everybody else is doing it. But right. I want to ask you this, right, because um, I'm all I'm all for, you know, men winning and I'm all about brothers, you know, succeeding but because I got to be honest with you, man, in my opinion, Actually, in my, in my opinion, it's a fact. This society hates men. They basically want us to work our butts off. They want us to basically, you know, do all these great things. So what they do is they pamper us to, you know, be successful, but not for our own benefit. Mm -hmm. They want us to be successful for their benefit and not for us. That's why um, 
you'll have people say, oh, you're not getting married. Oh, you're not having kids. Because people get mad at me when I tell them I'm not getting married or having kids. And they're like, why? Right. Because I don't want to. It doesn't benefit me. I don't care for it. Right. And and they get upset. I told them, if you want to do that, you can. But I want I, I tell people this. I, I believe in four principles. Right. Logic, common sense, reality and practicality. That's mm-hmm. what I go by. I do what makes sense. Not to me, but just the natural way of living. Right. It, it like like, for example, marriage. Right. Knowing the laws are messed up. Does it really make sense for any man to get married nowadays when the system is against you? Um, a lot of the chicks here, they're ran through. They're going to cheat on you. It, studies even show that they're cheating more than ever before. You got over 200 dating apps for them to cheat on you and they seek uh, attention. Bro, if you go on Instagram right now, you'll have chicks that have boyfriends, right? But they don't even have the picture of the boyfriend on their damn Instagram. But if you look, if you go to the boyfriend's Instagram, he has a lot of pictures of her. Why, why do us men keep, why aren't we standing up and letting these chicks know, hey, listen, if I'm not that important to you, then we might just end it here. A lot of guys are weak, man. I got to be honest with you. A lot of guys are weak. And I know why. I know they, 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 they want to get the coochie. I know that. But it's like, Men really got to stand up and understand you are hated. And and I told people this, if we were in, if we were about to go to a world war, bro, I'm not fine for this country. I'd rather sit in jail because I, there's no way in hell I'm going to fight for a system that hates me. They hate us, bro. And the fact that we're red pilled and going our own way, black pilled or whatever, they they hate that. Because they don't want men to find out. The truth is, they don't want us to know our value. Mm-hmm. They want they want us to have value in what benefits them. They don't want us to value ourselves. And that's yeah. that's what's going on today. And women don't like me. The reason why women don't like you is because they can't control you. Women can sense a man that's like, oh, I can't control him. Oh, or e- even if it's your looks or whatever, you know, it's whatever. You know, looks for looks, right? Right. But the fact that they can't control you. They can't tell you what to do. They can't manipulate you. Women hate that. Women do not want men to be red pilled at all because we we expose the nature of things. Politics as well. They don't want people to know the truth about politics, science, that all this stuff is BS, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like why normalize marriage when, like, the wife is actually like cheating on you like like during the relationship you you can't you, like you just can't like be more peaceful like cuz i've seen videos on youtube i kid you not like how um the, well it's actually reaction videos like when they they have like women having um women getting exposed even like in funerals oh my god um like you have like the sister-in-law or like women or like males in the family like caught like the wife cheating on a man while like the husband's in the casket which is like a punch in the sternum and then you have like like uh videos like videos exposing people in videos and like uh in weddings and i, I saw like a, i think it's like the asian woman uh, yeah, yeah I saw that too. <laughs> yeah, and like the man like was in awe and like he didn't and the woman was like crying on stage. I was like, oh shoot. And like this is what marriage is, because like you know, technology is a gift and a curse. And you just have to like have there's some benefits to it because you know. It, it saves like the the trauma for everything. I mean, you will have trauma regardless, but you know it'll salvage, you know, the heartbreak uh, partially. Then like it just makes you like feel red pill and like see how women are. But you know, don't hate women, but like understand it. It's kind of like playing the game Go. Um, it's an Asian board game that I play on my phone. Like don't don't hate the game, but understand it. Like learn to like comprehend um, or find like strategies on like like how to like capture like the peace versus 
you know, trying to be compulsive and trying to get all the pieces because you can't really get all of them because it's going to backfire rapidly. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm guilty of that because I've been telling dudes, hey, listen, I hate American women. I don't hate all yeah. women. I just hate Western women. And I admit that. And, you know, it, to me, I personally hate Western women. To me. Me too, man. Uh, um, they're just they're just so toxic, man. And, and, and men are not together coming up. It's like you, you see your brother down. You're not going to help him. And and, and I got to be honest with you. And this is what society does not want to talk about. They don't want to talk about the single mother home issue. They don't, they don't want to talk about it. That's what, that's what gets me because we, we all know the statistics, right? We all know that the majority of, um, of men that go to prison, that get accused of rape, uh, Ma- uh, shooting massacres, depression, suicide, they all come from single mother homes. But society, what they do is they pray single mothers and all they do is shit on the man. And yeah. of course, we, we don't know whole the story, but let's just keep it real. Let, let's be like, let's keep it real, blind assessment, MGTOW. Women are the choosers. We're not. The only thing, the only d- decision that we choose is if we marry them or not. Oh, yes. True. Point blank, period. That's the only decision that we really have when it comes to, you know, with these chicks, right? Whether we want to marry them or not, they mm-hmm. purposely choose bad men. They sleep with these men and then they're bringing children into a world of poverty to a, into a um, into a system that is corrupt and the child suffers and nobody wants to talk about it. Guess who they blame? Well, the man was a deadbeat daddy, but who chose him? Who? Why? Why did I'll ask the, the woman this? Why did you sleep with him? If you know he was bad, you know, mm-hmm. you see, this is stuff that I'm talking about. We don't hold these people. We don't hold these chicks accountable. We don't do it. It's always the man's fault. And and and, I, and, and people get mad at me when I say that. I already said that they choose bad men. I said the dude is shitty. I'm not I'm not letting him off the hook. What I'm saying is that women purposely choose shitty men. And then when that man does them wrong, now she wants to say all men are trash. But you had like 50 other dudes that were good. You rejected them. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm personally tired of these stupid games, man. And women keep doing it. They purposely dress provocative to make men thirst for them and then reject them. Like, like that's childish stuff. To me, in my opinion, Western women are bad people, man. I stay away from them. I do. I, I do what I got to do to survive. And that's it, man. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to be no Captain Sable Ho. None of that. Yeah. It's that bad. And men are getting killed because of this crap, man. Yep. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, um, you can even have like Garrett, like good married men, um, that having that even expose the same thing you said, like women will go after like like men who has like low frequencies and like have like low vibration, like thugs and don't even like they lack hygiene, like my friend does. Like you go for those guys. God knows what you may like. A, tra- a disease has been transferred into you. So, like, women are just mindless. Like, they don't know, like, they'll get pregnant by a dude that don't really care about the baby. Um, There's this one, it, it happened last year, too. It happened down in Atlanta. You probably heard about this. But it was this one woman. <laughs> she actually... um. She invited a dude in his house, and she was like, I think she was like a a business major. I think she was like in a sorority or something. Uh, yeah, a sorority. And she got like, she got shot. Uh, she got killed by him because guess what? She was trying to fix him. You guessed it. She was basically trying to fix him, and he, reject, he, he basically rejected it, of course, and killed her then the police came and killed him because um one of the police officers just shot him i think outside the window because it was like in a high rise basically i remember and that's a prime example college women go for like low self-esteem men and <laughs> and like what's the point of like going to college if like you going 
a dude don't have like zero interest in you and have like zero occupation don't have like any goals in life just to like you know you know change the environment in a positive way but you you just like go after dudes that you know don't give a give a crap about themselves because what is because they have trauma that's all there is to it they have total bad trauma and that's what where that's the common between women western women and thugs in here so i don't know i hate i have zero interest and zero trust well actually negative zero trust in western women here i really don't that's why i just had like a bittersweet um not a grudge but i have a bittersweet you know vibe between these women because they don't say hi to you you don't get well complimented here you know when you dress differently from them like you're like in a non-commercialized manner you're 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 not well liked and that's fine by me because like you know whenever i like i go downtown like every now on the weekend i just checked everything out like you know just being a spectator and like just checking out people's outlooks attitudes perspective i even went to a bar um people are like intoxicated except for me of course i just check out people's responses and like people's reaction to things so like i just observe just trying to like be curious of what people are like at nighttime so like you just have to be like an owl sometimes and like just like experiment how people are just i'm yeah like a non-social experiment so again like i'm not really good with women here i'm really not it's just that i'm not socially awkward but i'm just i'm just like outside of the world like i'm just earthless that's the best way to put it and, and i understand you man and i'm glad you you, uh, you went out to experience things for yourself and because years ago people used to thought that i was crazy when i say yo these chicks are bad news man they purposely go for men and then and then of course women get mad we say oh you're generalizing you're generalizing and and that's the same shame and tactic that they use Right. But it turns out. But when I talk to other men, they'd be like, bro, you're right, man. They'd be doing the same. They do, they, they be doing the same stuff. So what they do is, bro. And to all the guys that are watching, let's be real. These chicks know what they're doing, man. They they're, they're playing these mind games with men. It's just like um, it's like catching a, like your cat. Right. Yeah. Something that's not supposed to be doing. And then when you catch it. The, the cat is looking all. I didn't do anything, man. These chicks do this stuff on purpose, bro, because they get energy from it. They they like drama, man. Like for example, if you look at a girl for one second, she's gonna think that you love her. She's gonna think that you um that you want her, but you're just looking around. They take things too serious. They overcomplicate stuff for no reason because right. that's what they do, man. They're petty people. Us guys, we don't do that. We're straight up. If we're not interested in the chick, we're gonna be like, hey, "Listen, I'm not interested. I'm not gonna do that." We're not gonna be petty and be like, "Ew, no." That's not. That's not what we do. Men, for the most part, we're straight to the point. I don't mm-hmm. have time to play games. You don't have to t- have time to play games. And a lot of men, unfortunately, they, they <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna take for men to realize it, man. But that whole dating relationship thing, man, it's over. Yeah, I mean, I, I hate to. Be the bearer of bad news, and I know you mentioned overseas, but that stuff that that Western ideology is spreading over there too, slowly but surely. Because I'll, I'll say this, I'll say this to you, Brian says McTow. I don't trust none of them. Mm-hmm. It don't matter how if she's nice to me or anything like that, because at any minute she can change on you. Yeah, she can do it. She can change on you any minute. That's mm-hmm. why when, when guys ask me, "Hey, Batman, are you dating?" No, I'm not. Because I already know what to expect. I'm gonna be used. I'm gonna get cheated on. She's gonna make stuff up. I already know what they're gonna do because I, I know the female playbook, man. 
They're going to act all good and innocent in the beginning to lure you in. And once they get you, they're going to change it to a comp to a whole complete person, which is their real selves. Mm -hmm. it, it's all a game to them. That's all it is. It's just a game to them. They don't take relationships seriously. They don't. They just want to leech off what they can get you, get get your attention, get your val get your validation, get your money, and, and go on to the next dude. It's a cycle. And then eventually they want to settle down and have kids because women in their mind, they're like, I'm young and hot, so... I can take mm -hmm. advantage of these men. I can manipulate them and do what I want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can give you an example. Like, back in the 50s, I think 50s and 60s, um, yeah, like, I can say, like, Japan was actually westernized because I think, um, I think, like, during, like, World War II, um, I think they had been, like, brainwashed and got up out of Japan's, you know, lifestyle and traditions and standards. I mean, they still had it, but you can see, like, if you, look, if you pay attention to people's attire and stuff, um, like they they're just like it's just been like a, it's a fabrication, not a fabrication, but a, du a duplication of their point of views and their change of life, and it was, it was okay, but like. It's even worse that like if you bring or if like you're trying to bring, bring like a overseas chick here, chances are she's doomed. And like I, I never I don't even trust women here. Um you know, I even had like women flirt with me at the bar. Um when we was this is like early early of this year, around like January. And she was actually like, it was a much older, older lady was like flirting with me. Um, this is when the Bengals were at the playoffs and like watching, and they went to the Super Bowl. And I remember like, it was, it was weird because she was like rubbing my hand and like, I just had to reject her like then and there, like, because she was like intoxicated, of course. And like, I just like walked away and going about my business and there was like another time like well it was like a couple months later um i had like my hair like in a two strand like just like walking down i forgot where i was about to go to and like it was this woman in her car she was like oh like uh she was gonna hook me up with somebody and i gave her my phone number and she gonna give it to her friend and we just chat up, see how it is. And like, I didn't want to be interested in her. I was just trying to see where her head is. And turns out she had like a child. And that's when I had to cut her off. So it was just like single motherisms. And like, we don't, we actually excuse 100% of the time where we push, we, we blackball the single mothers, like, let's leave them. And like, let's just focus on a man of like, why are not done, they're not doing this for us? Why you're not, you know, supporting us when you're supporting yourselves? You're independent, right? You're you're independent. So what's the point of supporting you when you have like this independent mindset? You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's crazy that you went through all that, man. And and, and she didn't even mention the child. Yeah. Um. Who who was that? I'm sorry. Uh, the, 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 the um the chick that you were dating. Did she even mention that she had a child? Um did she say something about it? You know what? Um the, the girl that um that trying to like run me over, I looked up her information. Kind of like it was like you know, like you like you're in a suspense movie and like see what she's all about. Um yeah. <laughs> I can laugh at it now, is 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 because like she was married. So I didn't know she was married and I was like, okay, okay. Um, that's when I just had to like slightly ignore her, like see what she wanted. And that's where her head was like, you know, she basically just cheated on her spouse, cheated on me. So it was like, you're not hey. telling me any special. So that's why I be telling dudes, man. And I know that. And, and someone's gonna have a uh, someone has a question for you on the passport movement, SYSBM. 
This is it. Because me, man, it don't matter. Brazil, Philippines. To me, I'm speaking for me personally. I don't trust none of them. To me, they to me that they all the same because it's like you got to think about it, right? People keep telling me, Batman, there's some good women out there. Okay, they can be good, but are they gonna stay that way? Mm -hmm. People change, bro. Yeah. People change. She could be good mm -hmm. for ten years, but in year eleven, she turns to a whole complete different person. Why, why, why are we wasting our time, man, when we can just go our own way, do our own thing, chill, relax, have fun with, with the homies? Why do we have to – why do men still want to waste the, waste their time with these chicks, man? They don't give a crap about you. They don't care about you. It's, it's just – I just don't see a point. It's in, in my that, opinion. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Um, oh, you're good. You're good. No, it boils down to their low their 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 level of self esteem because they're they have like a low self esteem, and they just like wanted like validation, and people don't really see the change, because if like people don't want you, just like just like move on, and like we we turn it into these these urban R and B singers, and like we try to like emulate them with just to, like. You know, like, um, what is it called? Like, just trying to motivate or persuade them, like, to come back to us. And no matter how you get, like, pushed off, like, you, you just have to, like, like, be strong. Like, you give their power to basically Satan. It's not her. It's Satan. Because she's the one that's, like, actually being a devil and like using you she's not on your side and like the classic tagline goes it's like it's never she's never yours it's what's it called it's like it's your turn like it's like she's never yours uh it's your turn or something like that um but that was like the the motto in the MGTOW uh community but she just like using you and that's why I was like into like more like not like old school hip hop. Um, I would just listen to EPMD Go Digger, and you know, like they're telling you and like for mentioning about how women are like in the 90s and like how it's like generating now like a train of walking orgies and like women or like cum dusters or like me and my friend, well, me would say like. Um, well, I, I think I call them like, uh, you know, body surfers. Uh, what I mean, like, by body surfers, you know, like people like stage dive when you're in a live concert, um, especially women do that too. Then, like, you have like women, like, like women is more vulnerable to them because, like, you touch on her buttock or you touch on her the JJ, um, when they do that, but. That's why I call them like body surfers, because you you land like women or like you jump like men to men to men, and this is goes by like only fans chicks. Like I even seen like women who are providing open relationships and like jumping men to men to men, and then they come back to their man like a boomerang, and like they they're showing like they're sharing their DNA to like other guys, so it's like. That's why I don't have no respect for Western women at all. I don't blame you, man. And and I like I, I go out by myself, right? I be doing things on my own, and I be looking around. And when I go to restaurants, right, when I see a couple, the bitch is on her damn phone. I remember mm -hmm. going to a, I remember going to a CC's pizza, right, and uh, I was sitting down, you know, eating my food and. On my phone, but I saw this couple going. In. So this dude, the boyfriend, right? He made the he made the chick's place. So he got the pizza for her, right? And uh, and she was on she was on her phone while while, while telling her uh, her male servant, her male slave, to get food for her. I was just shaking my head. I was like, this is why men are not going nowhere mm -hmm. because we keep wasting our time, wasting our money with these chicks, man. I, don't, I, I just don't get it. And 
even back then, right? Now, you mentioned black women earlier, man. Oh, my God. They are the worst. Mm -hmm. um, man, bad attitude. They're just not good to be around. They always want to start drama. They always want to talk about the past and race and all that stuff. It's like, man, I don't have time for that shit. Mm -hmm. um, like, my patience with women and, and also society in general is very low because, like, I'm just tired of the BS. I just want to be left alone. I just want to do my own thing. And, and that's it. But people are still trying to convince me till this day to get into a relationship, have a girlfriend and all that. I'm like, dog, I don't care about these chicks like that. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I just want to do my thing in peace, quiet, solitude. I just want to be a free man. If guys want to get into relationships and marriages, they can go ahead. I mm -hmm. personally don't I personally don't see a I don't know why, because to me it's it's a scam. You're just wasting money on a chick that doesn't really care about you anyway, but you know, to each his own. But all I know is that. Our time as men is very precious. It's very viable. Yes. Why waste it? Why waste it on people that don't care about you? They don't care about your interests. They don't care about your goals or your dreams. Because a lot of men in, in, in the West, they care about these women's dreams. Any dream that these women have, we support it. But if it's something that we want to do, it's a problem. <laughs> but but again, man, it's all about choices and and to all the guys in chat, y'all can do what y'all want to do, but I'm going to make my life easy. And mm -hmm. what makes it easy is stay away from them, continue to do my truck and stuff, stack my bread, and retire young. Because my goal is to retire young so I can live an easy, peaceful peaceful life, travel mm -hmm. the world, do what I want to do. Um, mm -hmm. When I get a house, uh, Blyde and Sesame Mixed Town, I want to play the piano. I want to play the saxophone. I want to do all that. I love music. And I and I actually, I want to get into that. Um, but I'm going to let you respond to what I said. And then we're, we're going to go into music because I saw one of your uh, streams. You like reggae and you like, you're a music guy. So, so um, I'm going to let you respond to what I said and then we can talk about music. Okay. Um, yeah, like women are like, it's never returned our favor that women never like, you know, we support our dreams because you know, it's like a race to them. It's like a common race. And like they it's it's like in 2019, I think it was called like uh, the financial attractiveness of a dude. And it was like widespread, like on YouTube and Bank Tao did everything to expose it. But like um, it was this one football player named Chris Henry. Um, I can do videos. I'm planning on doing videos about like what can you learn from that particular athlete. Um, but man, I can give you. Oh my God, I can give you a perfect example. Um, it's this one dude named uh, Benji. Um, he was uh, an early. He was like a prodigy though, like and and he was like in Chicago, and he, ESPN did like a documentary. You can look it up. Uh, back in, uh, in the early 2010s or late 2000s. And like uh, my mom, I remember my mom said something about it and I got into it. And like he was so much of a prodigy that like the NBA wanted him and he was in high school. And this was like, um, he was <laughs> he was basically like before Michael Jordan, before I'd been, uh, been biased. Uh, Lynn Bias, I think that's his name. But he was like a prodigy that like NBA, the NBA was looking at this 17 year old kid in high school that like he was like racking up points. Then like all of a sudden this, I suggest you watch it, man. This It was like really not gut riching, but it was like yet yeah, a little bit emotional because the guy got killed um, by a gunshot because he said something wrong. And he, mind you, he had, like, a baby mama. Um, he had, like, a kid. The kid's still alive and, like, playing basketball as well. Um, I think he in his late 30s, I believe. Um, but um, he died from, like, a gunshot wound um, because he was, like, says so he bumped into a guy, a much younger teen, shot him. Then he died. And... Um, Cause he got a girl pregnant 
and um because that that's that was like the beginning of what ruined him for real for real is because he actually dated a chick that's like like older than him and and then like guy actually got killed and that like kind of like killed his emotions his dreams and his goals because if he didn't do like without it dude would have been like a trailblazer for sure he would have been like neck to neck with like like with will chamberlain um definitely like surpass uh kareem abdul jabbar but Man, dude was like I have his time, man, but his life got wasted and he wasn't even 18 yet. So yeah, uh specs streaming um Benji Wil Wilson. Uh but yeah, like rest in peace. But like I suggest you check out that ESPN documentary. But that's a prime example of like when you have like a baby mama and you have a kid by someone age of 17. Like that would drive you into like a different world that's like not not in your favor in reality. And then like that'll like put you like that'll drive you into like an emotional wreck. And that's that's what led to Benji before he even died. So um women can be can be major dream killers, even in the eighties and like till now. Cause like they'll see like your potential, like what can you do, um, you know, like you just have to like it's really hard out here, but you just can't like be sidetracked of a female who's attracted to you, and that's like the eye of beholder, so to speak, and you know just be attracted, be sidetracked of your goals. You can't, you can't really like throw your goals away and be someone in the flesh. That's what it says in Ephesians um, chapter five, verse 19, or I think 20, I believe, or 18. No, I think it's 17 through 20. And definitely Proverbs, uh, like somebody saw, said in the chat, um, uh, Proverbs chapter 21 and nine. So, yeah, like Benji was red pill until he became blue pilled and died. So it's I can I can like go on and on about major major like potential athletes who's like a prodigy and like who had greatness in them, but like by ruining it by a female. It's it's all over, man. Not only sports, but like businessmen as well. And um, like I mentioned earlier about Dave and Cronenberg and stuff, like that led to a nasty divorce. And we just got to be remain red pill at all times. Yeah, man, we definitely do. And fellas, be careful out there. Don't get sidetracked. Um, and, and, and shout out to you, Spec Stream. And Spec Stream had a, a question for you. And I wanted to get to that before we talk about you know, the music industry and all that stuff. Yeah. He asked, he asked about what do you think about the passport uh, movement and also uh, SYSBM, if you want if you want to answer. Oh, that. yeah. Yeah, I've seen that uh, question. Um, what was, I know it was like how to do like passport rows or something like that. Yeah, SYSBM. Um, um, say yourself, black man. Um, yeah, like that's, I can say that's much similar to MGTOW in a sense because um, if you go to Thinking Man's Templar, um, like that was like really much my go to. Um, man, them, them, them videos like, like really emotional. Not that I cried to it, but it's like, it's like a really a resonating mirror that you went through, you know, father, like a father of society where like men just need to, like, black men alone need to stick together. And like, I don't, to a certain degree, I don't blame black men like traveling outside the U.S. because um, it's just one, um, I don't know, because I'll just be like showing an example because I've been watching videos all the time, uh, documentaries about, uh, this is one video you probably heard about him, Batman. His name was Charles Wright. Um, I think that's his name. He passed away. Um, I, he was part of his, project called frustrated 
and it's about black men um i think that's part of the movement of the sybm it's like sysbm yeah yeah i seen um, uh, i seen the documentary it was pretty good yeah it was deep and i remember they went to like brazil um i think there was like rio de janeiro or something like that particularly um but i think there was like in a variety of cities and there was just like like uh how there was like with talking brazilian women like how they being appreciated then the the director would talk to like the um western society black women and like then he'll question like how they feel about like black men going outside of like overseas and like it was just like fascinating because like when alone white when like in reality like outside of video you just watch you just see how like how black women are no matter where what state or nationality you at like you you'll see like the similarities where you're watching a video and like their outlet and their perspectives and like why are black women acting like this like they went from down to earth to like just being like totally nasty and like then that goes back to saying like women are like when you say hi to them like they're they just discuss them like like where like where is the like the compliments where is like you know, like the civil, this the civilness in this. You know, like just be like you just gotta learn how to be polite. You know, like there's no politeness in that, man. Can I, can like, I ask you something? Yeah. You know, it's really sad when I look at the movie at the documentary Frustrated. Yeah. These black chicks haven't fucking changed. In your mind, you would think. Wait, that, what they have? I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that. In 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 the in the, in the um, you will figure that because a lot of people know about the documentary Frustrated, right? Yeah. You you would think that, and that was back in the late '90s, to early 2000s, right? Mm-hmm. In your mind, you would think that maybe black woman, black woman in her mind would say, "Okay, ladies, we need to do better. We got to stop." You know, treating black men like this, but no, it's gotten worse. Black women have they've been led by bad influences like Cardi B, right. Nicki Minaj, Sweetie, Mega D Stallion. Those mm-hmm. are that's who that's who black women follow. And right. and it's really unfortunate. Black women are done, they've been done. And and the pro blacks piss me off when they sit try to sit and tell me, come on, man, you gotta you gotta marry your sisters, bro. I'm like, man, right. yes. I hate, bro. Yes. I can't oh stand the bro. <laughs> If you want to speak on that, yes. on the pro blacks, I cannot stand the bro. Why do I have to continue to deal with nagging, fake weave, fat, um, bad attitude? Just EBLs, man. They're, they're just toxic, man. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting into that because you even have like black women. Like not black women, but pro blacks telling you like or trying to persuade you to like be your black sister, but you don't really see like the reality of how black women are turn out to be malicious. Like they just like lash on like out on you like a tiger or something. They like they don't like they don't really have morals in life. Why like, why think they have like the little Kims and like back in the day, or um. Who else? Like uh, Dina Howard. People forgot about her, right? Like, like they just want to have, like, why you have, like, black women acting like freaks out here? And that's why you have, like, the 90s was, like, the worst. Especially the late 90s was, like, the worst, man. Because you have, like, um, what's it called? Freak Nick was, like, like, a contribution to, like, how women acted out. Wearing skimpy clothes. Or they they just like um, being naked, like men, like you have men touching all over them and stuff, like. And like you tell us to love our black sisters when black women are going to thugs, but pro blacks don't like step up the thugs and try try to tell me hey, get your mind right, go to school, like do something. Like they don't even provide education programs for low self esteem people like them. So you, it's just like, why do I need to be with like women who have wigs or BBLs or don't have like a 
you know, a sense of like politeness in them or like have like greatness in them. Cause yeah, I can I can say that like potential black people, like people who are don't who like the potential, like they just want to fit in or like you know have validation of something that's really demonic. It's crazy. Exactly, man. And Freaknik, I, I never heard of a Freaknik. I just looked it up. I was like, wow. So basically, it's basically chicks getting ran through, getting trains ran on. Them. It's, it's like an orgy fest, man. Like, I don't know if they stopped it nowadays, but the 90s was the worst. It was just like, all. Oh, it's like a, it reminded me of Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm sorry. That's what yeah. it reminded me of. Nerd guy made a comment. He said, I remember seeing Freaknik. Many dudes, girls came down to Atlanta to get trains ran on them. And they went back home to yes. their boyfriends. Yes. And again, fellas, why waste your time? Why waste your money? Why waste your energy on someone that doesn't care about you? They're going to cheat on you anyway. Again, fellas, why waste your time? But Batman, not every woman is like that. That's not my point. It doesn't matter. They can it be. You see, dude, dudes got to understand women are variables, bro. bro uh, they are variables like in mad variables, which means they change. Yes. They're going to change. They, it, it, I mean, because like you can be with a chick for like 10 years, right? And then she can be tempted by one man. Mm -hmm. just, that, just, just that one temptation, it can lead her down to the wrong path. She can be on the good straight and nail for 10 years. But then that one guy that she sees like, damn, I wish I had that. Because, you know, all, we're human beings, right? We, we all think. You know, we ha we all have thoughts, right? Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to females, man, they can get this one bad thought, and that one bad thought can lead them down to one bad decision. Yeah, I'm gonna say something deep though, like real deep. Go ahead, go ahead. When you said like you said, women are variables. Yeah, women are variables, but female nature is fixed. Female nature will always be fixed. Because why? Because it's not going to change. Women's behavior is going to change on them, but it's going to be fixed. So y'all put two to two together. Variables, of course, is changeable. Fixed is going to be the same. So fixed yeah. is like female nature. It's still going to be the same. Variables is like it's going to be changeable regardless of where you're taking your girl at. Because I've seen a lot of videos like rave concerts to like bars and clubs they're going to cheat right in front of you and you're not going to mm -hmm. like it at all that's right <laughs> you, you know blind says a big time you see other brothers see it but unfortunately a lot of guys don't want to believe that because a, a lot of these dudes that like when i go out in, in the public right and i see a lot of dudes with their wives and girlfriends and my mind is shaking my head i know that that dude's chick has been Cheating on, cheating on him with other men. It's like, like it's, it's to me, it's automatic now because dudes tell me stories and I see stuff. I was like, man, at this point, blind assassin MGTOW, I'm numb to it now because this is what I'm used to. I'm not surprised if I hear dudes say that, man, I got cheated on. I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. I, like, why should I be surprised? It's the norm now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Guys got to be careful. And, and understand that all, all this stuff is like, and, and again, I know people may think I'm wrong for saying this and people will disagree, but to me, man, they all the same, bro. It's like, and the reason why I say that is because, and people tell me this stupid argument, well, have you met all of them? Have you met all of them? I don't need to do that. Yeah. The reason why I don't need to do that is because see the, see the people that these chicks hang out with. Look at the crowd mm -hmm. that they hang out with. Okay, if, if you see this girl that you like, right, and the girl that you like, you see her hanging with a bunch of thoughts, right, what's going to be your perception of her since she's hanging out with them? Mm. She's a thought, too. Yeah. People keep saying, oh, you're generalizing, you're generalizing. Women blend in into the environment because they don't want to be left out. Women do not want to be a social outcast. Even if, even if they don't want to do those things, they're still going to do it because they want to fit in. So if you have a chick that's from the country 
and she's very conservative in, in, in all that, right? She acts all good in front of her parents, all Christian like. But as soon as she goes to like Florida, Miami, downtown LA, and people mm. are, are, are turning it up, she's gonna blend into that environment, man. All right. that Christian stuff is gonna is gonna blow out the window. That's what women do. Women change dependent on their environment. Of course, they're gonna act all innocent in front of their parents. Of course, they're gonna do that. But right. when their parents aren't there, now God is watching, fellas. God is watching all of us. I yes, just want to is. point that out. I just want to point that out. They're going to change to a whole complete different person, just like a biracial chick, right? When she's around black folks, she's like, yeah, nigga, nigga, nigga. But when she's, when she's around her white girlfriends, yeah, I know. Yeah, she starts to change. It's all fake, man. Right. All fake. Yeah, it, it is, man. Well, I'll be seeing that, too. Like, um, I'll be seeing, like, interracial relationships. Which kind of is like saying that, like, um, I remember, um, I've been seeing like, uh, black women dating like white guys, and like, but if, like, if we date outside our race, then it's questioned or like it's, uh, what castigated. So, like, I, like, um, I dated like a couple, like, Two white women, or I date like white woman and Asian women before, short lived, of course, but wasn't that serious. Um, but like I, I never trusted being around a woman though, like for some reason because, like, say if like a woman is like right next to me, if like if you're watching a movie or like we're walking or something. Um, it's feel like they have like some sort of dark vibe or dark cloud under them. You get what I mean? Like, you just feel like there's a like, dark cloud under them, like you know they're nice and stuff, and like, you no, know, like behind behind the back of your mind, it's like, like they have like like a something negative. Um, because I dated, I forgot to tell you, I did dated um a single mother before, uh, seven years ago. I had to cut it off immediately. Um, because this was like back in college and like I was like flirting with her in a bit. She was like Jamaican too. Um because of her she had like a real strong accent. Jamaican, uh, oh man, they are yeah. tough. Yeah, like um it was like three she was like three years, she was literally like three years older than me. And like um we did went on a date. Luckily I cut it off after that because she showed me the child she had. Um, so like I, I just said like no, nah, I can't do it. And what saved my life uh, was like I was like in the academic support program, um, just because I just needed some like validation in a way that, you know, trying to get like a support system like with like, like a structure where like I get help with like homework. You know what I mean? Like, um. I just didn't need like nothing more like trying to like get over myself where that like trying to get into a relationship because if I got into a relationship, even though like back in the day, like women will like cross me. And so that's why it led to me like I had like zero trust in women nowadays here. So women, like women cheat more than men, in my opinion. I mean, we cheat because like um we just like go on to the next one like we just we don't finesse them it's just like we understand where their women's head, heads are at and why like, we just think like 10 steps ahead of them believe it or not i'll tell you this i hear what you're saying right guys who cheat too but it's not too many are you aware i think you're aware of this you know that there's a sexual inflation going on yeah, hold on. You have like some sort of spam. It's like um, sex fine dot x. Oh, oh, let me get rid of that. Some freaking trolls. Let me get rid of yeah. them. Cool. Um, All right. Um, this is sexual inflation going on, right? A lot okay. of young guys, the average guys that don't get chosen on, they're not having sex at all, right? Nothing mm -hmm. against them. We already right. know about the 90 10 rule or 80 20 rule, right? Yeah. The guys that really that. cheat on their girls are really the guys that actually get the chicks. Most guys, believe it or not, the average guys, they don't get women at all. They're not chosen. Them. That's mm -hmm. why you see a lot of guys on Tinder matching with 80 year old ladies saying, hey, I'll fly you out. Hey, sexy men are desperate, bro. Oh, they're not getting it like that. They're, 
Yes. Bro, dudes are not getting it like that. And I'll tell everybody this. I haven't had sex in three years, but I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, I have my experiences with, with the chicks and all that. But to me, yeah, it felt good. But but looking back then, I went I went through some hoops to get, get with that. And to me, it wasn't worth it. But other than that, women have more options than men do. So yeah. it's of course it's going to be easier for a lot of women to cheat because you have a hundred guys thirsting after them. So they have an endless supply of, of, of men up there, simps that they can choose. So mm-hmm. that's why when guys ask me, Hey Batman, why don't you want to get a girl? Why, why don't you get a girl? I'm like, bro, why do I want to get with a chick that I know has like 50 dudes in her DMs? You got chicks on Instagram that have boyfriends and they have dudes commenting on their pictures and these and the girl says nothing. None of these girls say, "Hey, listen, for the respect of my boyfriend, please don't be commenting on, on my stuff." They don't say that. They allow it to continue. You see mm-hmm. the boyfriend in the comments say, "Hey, don't talk to my girl." The girl doesn't say nothing. She's enjoying the drama. She's enjoying two men f- f- uh, flaunting over her. Why are we? Why? Why are we as men keep putting ourselves in these situations, man? There, it, it's just it's toxic. It's unnecessary. These chicks don't. They they just care about attention, man. That's why they act the way they act. That's why they dress the way the way they dress. The truth is, women are the most insecure gender on the planet. That's a fact. They're, they're the most insecure. I'll tell yeah. you why. Why are black women wearing blonde wigs for? Why? Right. Why are they say women, women are smart? Right. Yeah. Why why are white women getting plastic surgery? Why? Us men, we're not, well, of course, you got some celebrities that get plastic surgery on their face and all, but that's mostly celebrity men. But us men, you know, we work with what we got. We'll um, we'll go to the gym, work out, and, you know, we just make the best of what we got. And and and, and I love it that way. Instead of me, you know, getting a surgery on my face, I'm not going to do that. You know, God made me who I am. Mm-hmm. It's up to me to take care of the temple that, you know, that he gave me. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it's his temple. And... It's just so sad that a lot of men, blind assassin mentality, they don't value themselves. I was one of those guys. I'm not going to sit here and say that I wasn't a simp, I wasn't no beta, because I was. But that I mean, every, I to, every man was, man. I mean, I ain't going to Yeah. Lie. You know what I'm saying? So I had to go through those moments. And then it was up to me to wake up and say, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this anymore. I'm going to value myself. I'm going to put myself first. Definitely, you know, me personally put God first in everything that I do. I'm not going to be no simp. I'm not going to tolerate no disrespect just to get sex. I'm, I'm not going to do that anymore. And ever since then, being MGTOW was the best decision that I've ever made in my life. I've saved more money. I've been more at peace. I, I've never been, I, shoot, I've been more happier than me, you know, having sex with women. This, this is the best uh, version of myself, m- monk mode. Monk mode to me, man, and I'm not saying everybody has to be monk mode, but for me, man, it's brought a lot of peace in my life, man. It it, it, it saved my life from putting myself in bad situations. And my parents don't like MGTOW. My parents don't like, because my parents are Christian, right? I was raised in a Christian home. Yeah. My parents do not like the fact that I'm not getting married and not having kids, that I'm going my own way. They have a problem with it. Yeah. Yeah, like that. That's like um, that kind of reminded me because like I ain't gonna front again like I was a son because it was like coming from my upbringing. My mom told you like hold the door for a lady, you know, treat ladies with respect. Then like it kind of like like when I was in high school, like it was a different way. Like um, it was just real different because like when you're in high school, like women are just acting ratchet. I don't think ratchet was even a term back then, but they were just like, yeah, it was ratchet, but um, but it, it was like I can't really, you know, talk to them like in a genuine, have a genuine conversation with them, like because women's conversation will be forever gossipy and forever backstabbing. You can't really change that. Versus men, like, we get logical, like, some men will be, like, have, like, that feminine vibe of, like, having backstabbing, like, oh, I don't like this guy, and, like, I don't never like to do backstabbing, because I just, like, keep it quiet, and just, like, 
hear a person's conversation from guys, but I I required like to do like face to face and like saying, Hey, like I don't like this at all. Like, you know, like can we fix this? And like if I can't control the consequences, like other than that, but you know, you know, like uh I just can't like be real simpish like anymore because like I just grew up in a false environment or a false setting where you have to like be uh honest like even if you be honest like you're vulnerable because you don't know what the action is going to be and they'll just leave you alone if you don't have that specific you know niche um when a woman deals like deals with you and like you just kind of felt confused and lost and like you know ignored because like what like if like i'm trying to like create a relationship with a woman then why isn't it that like that woman is not like trying to have no interest in me you know it's it's like you you feel like your communication style is undeveloped you're you're nothing that's where my that's where people like men's self-consciousness is coming from it's like you create like a low self-esteem and so like what i do is just like work out like do martial arts um i do like a few martial arts videos on my videos uh by the way but on my channel but um that that's where is my go-to is it's like trying to like work out get my mind off of things playing video games mm-hmm. yeah so like i like it was just like a false setting or like a false you just feel like on false wisdom when it comes to women saying that you know you gotta you know treat with one respect now like especially nowadays you know yeah yeah we actually them respect they don't have to choose with respect right and, and and a lot of men give me the dumbest excuses. Well, that's just what they are, man. You know, that's what women are. No, it's no excuse for either gender, right? If if, mm-hmm. if, you're, if if you're getting treated badly and it's rude and disrespectful, call them out, bro. From my experience, like being in the military, man, I, I told these women straight up, like, listen, I'm not going to put up with y'all crap. I'm not a simp. I'm not going to kiss your butt. I'm not going to do none of that. I'm not like these other simps out here that's gonna tell you what you what you hear, what you want to hear to make yourself feel better. I'm not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? And and, and right now we're in a spiritual war, bro. Yes, sir. And and honestly, I wish that it wasn't like this. Like I wish that it wasn't a division between men and women, but it's been designed this way from social media as convenient it can be to communicate with family that you never met before, it's causing a lot of pain because we allow social media to manipulate us to believe that, okay, this is the right way to live. Because on Instagram, for example, right, the algorithm purposely puts Instagram models on your page. You don't mm-hmm. even ask for it. They are trying so hard to get men. You know what society is scared of? Society is scared of God-fearing, free-thinking, masculine men that are going to stand up to, to foolishness, that's not going to put up with nothing, that they, they, they that's what they're afraid of. They're trying to make as many men as feminine as possible. You see a lot of men today, they're walking off feminine and they, they, they act like females, bro. It, it, it's that bad. The stuff they're putting in the food, the chemicals, uh, mess, alternating people's hormones, man. Yeah, it, it's so bad, man. And, 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 and we're going to talk about that. But but now music, man, music is a big influence. And I and I was told that Satan, Lucifer, he was the uh, creator of music. Mm-hmm. He was the orchestrator of music, right? Music can bring a lot of things to your spirit, good or bad, right? Yeah. Um, and let's talk about because I saw your video in, in regards to uh, uh, hip hop, rap, all this stuff. Not saying that it's all bad, right? But let's just keep it real, man. Music has really influenced a lot of people. It's very powerful. The words have meaning in it, the lyrics, the sound. How do you think music today has shaped uh, shaped society today? Um, yeah, like 
it just shapes society how like um, we provide like lifestyle, like uh, the trends we wear, and it's based mostly based like on feelings because Satan actually provides like we're just like a, a spectrum, like a Roy G. Biv uh, spectrum because it's like like we can be happy and be sad, you know, mad. Um, music just like really lays like a like dancing and all that and we don't like we just don't like really think about it. we just like get into the beat it's all about the the volume the the it's based on volume level and like decibels the frequency the um the reaction the response or like the the motivation to act out, not in a bad way, but we we grow into this generation now. We grow out to like now music is our reality because when I say that because you have like musicians self snitching now, acting out. Um you have like people like shooting, like shooting at each other, like because based on the music that we like you listening to. Like and we shoot that person, then we uh we write the lyrics down and like we sing like oh like I like, I shot the ops and like and now it's on a music video to the point where it's on YouTube and the media is going viral with it. Now you have like what the police like police uh like being receptive to it, which is like a nightmare. So basically you have no liberty or no freedom. Or leeway to, you know, just to do whatever. But, you know, we, like, people act out in, in a certain way of, like, dancing, like, speaking the lyrics, because, like, you know, spells, spells or in words are pretty, it's deeper than what you think, because people don't know what they're saying to somebody or, like, a lyric they said. It's, like it, it can be like malicious or happy or like whatever you put in, in universal law is going to come back to is going to go to that particular person and it's going to like affect them whether it's positive or negative so that that's why i was it just like it led to something like you know like people saying cursive where cursive comes from cursive means it's like uh cursive is like um, but you curse at somebody. But cursive is like kind of like demonic in a way because you write in in, in Pacific uh, ritual form or you say something, if you spell something, that's a verbal ritual. And people don't know about it. Well, I was like, I was because I was like studying human language by leisure back in 2017. And like, the human language is really satanic in a way. So it's like we have to be careful and mindful what we say to people before it affects them. So that's where I was like coming from, coming from because like it's real easy to say something to like express something to a person we're mad at, we're excited to see. Um but like you don't know like because there can be like some people that you don't know that affected that good or good or bad person that you know and all of a sudden they're dead so that's why i'm saying like verbal and written communication is really deeper than the average person would, would actually contemplate wow that's interesting i did not know that cursive now now, now they stopped teaching uh children cursive in school i learned cursive in third grade i learned how to write mm. cursive but oh me too me too um yeah mine was third grade as well and they stopped doing that um okay yeah, they stopped teaching uh uh, uh kids cursive now um i don't I, I, when i write my signature i don't really write cursive i just be scribbling to be honest with you um but yeah, man, that, that's crazy, man. Words mean a lot. 
music means a lot and, and you're right about frequency you know because i listen to music at 432 hertz right um yeah interesting i, I did research about that and i and, and i was and i read that the normal now today with, with music people regularly listen to music at 440 frequency but mm. i read that 432 is that pure sound uh you, you know what i'm saying and, and it's soothing to to my brain, my soul, my heart is just soothing listening to music at 432 hertz. Um I like the, I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um I've always liked R and B music. Um I like uh hip hop, I like rap, I like Japanese music too, believe it or not. Do I speak Japanese? No, but I just like the you know I just like the vibe to it. You know what I mean? I, mm -hmm. I know people think I'm weird for listening to Japanese. They'd be like, Batman, you don't even speak Japanese. I know I don't, but I, I just like it, man. I just vibe to it. Mm -hmm. And of course, as I see what the lyrics are before I listen to it, because, you know, they can be saying something demonic, like you said, you know, so that's why, you know, I pay attention uh, to make sure, you know, what am I listening to? But I love music, man. And, and, and when I get a house, like I said earlier, I want to buy a piano, buy a saxophone, maybe play the bass guitar, just play instruments, man. Jeremy Warner, shout out to you, man. I like anime opening music too. Same, so, I, I do too. Yeah, I know some people may think it's corny and, and all that, but, but that's what we like. I want to ask you this, right? When it comes to music and what we like to, and why is it that, <laughs> you're going to laugh at this, I have black chicks, black folks, right, in general, say that you watch anime, you listen to Japanese music, you're weird. You're weird. I, this is my response to them. I find it weird that you listen to music that um, that talks about murdering people, stealing from them. Right. That's not weird, but I'm listening to a Japanese song that is positive, that gives you hope, you know, it motivates you, but that's but that's weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you like jazz too? Nice. Yeah, I like uh, Latin jazz, um, especially from the I'll say like sixties, seventies, eighties. Not I didn't listen to like Santana particularly, but it's like other uh, part uh, people named T like Tania Maria or Tania Marie. Uh, she's like a Brazilian, female Brazilian uh, musician from the 70s and 80s. So, um, yeah, I listen, I listen to like international R&B, like especially like, you know, Latin jazz, because it's more like refreshing. Not not mm -hmm. to like, not to like, you know, take away or like push, push away like uh, Western R&B music, old school, but I like it as well. That's why I like the like eight like rare eighties and nineties R and B music. Uh, a lot of like golden age hip hop, uh, rap. Um, this this is like much more um, popular now. It's called a uh, vaporwave. Uh, listen to vaporwave. Um, let's see, uh, industrial music. Um, I was listening to, like much more like like goth music too. Um, I'm not. I don't wear like goth like apparel or anything, but um, but I just like listen to like like post punk stuff. Um, metal. Yeah, like not like not like metal, but I like I like listening to like much like older metal music. I don't know what's like now, but um, I I like listen to like the Deftones, uh, Pantera, Rush, um, Rage Against the Machine. Um, Let's see, uh, like Allison James, uh, Soundgarden, um, a little bit of Pearl Jam, uh, Primus. I like, I like the um, more like the 90s, uh, funk metal era, uh, like Jane's Addiction and uh, Faith No More, uh, Ministry. I'm a big Ministry fan, um. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, I, I even got the uh, T-shirt. I think I, I think I put in the dirty clothes, but I like the the older ministry, like 1981 to like 96. But um, but I'm into like industrial music as well. So it's like 
the dark industrial music, uh, the Cocteau Twins, uh, let's see, Susie and the Banshees, Nine Inch Nails, their early work. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. But I never liked it like NWA. I, I'm I was never a big fan of NWA. It just like their music is like haunting to me. I'm I'm um, not sure as I'm not the only one, but it's like it's really eerie, uh, especially their second album, Shay Out of Compton. Um, I never I, I never liked it NWA. Even when I skew up, I never liked it. In. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. um, whatever you like is what you like, and you know I like what I like, and that's okay. You, you know, for, I personally don't listen to country music. Do I hate country music? No, I just don't feel it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure there is a lot of good country songs. I'm, I'm just not into country, and and that, that's the thing about you know being different, right? Mm -hmm. We all have different likes and uh, dislikes, um, like. I like Asian cuisines. I like Filipino food. I like pizza. Uh, I, I like I like tacos. I like burgers. Yeah. I, I like those types of foods. You know what I mean? Um, I, I, I like I, I love to eat, man. Um, the, the way that I dress, I wear button down shirts. Um, I don't have no Jordans or, or Nikes or anything like that. I like Under Armour, so. I'm just a regular generic guy, man. I wear Timberlands and I wear boots and all that stuff. So you know, mm -hmm. that's the style that I have. But but that's what I truly like to, you know, dress like. N -n not not for what other people think. And that's the thing about the black community, man. I gotta be I know you see this all the time. It black dudes be doing this crap. They be making fun of other guys for the clothes that they wear. Mm -hmm. But it's like, what if that guy can't what if that guy is saving his money? And that's the problem with the black community, man. Like we, we value clothes and style and swag and that stupid stuff. I just don't understand it. And, and, and let's talk about the black community. And that was great that we talked about music. Let's talk about the black community, right? Oh, definitely. I, I don't consider myself a part of the black community. Yes, I'm a black man. The reason why I consider myself a part of the black community is that because I just don't, I don't integrate myself in that type of behavior. That hood hood stuff and all that. I, I, it, to me, it's silly. It's childish. It's it's dumb. But that's how they want to live. They can do that. But don't try to influence me to be to be a part of it. Because to me, man, the black community is dead, man. I don't know why pro blacks keep talking about, oh, we got to come together and this and that. I'm sick and tired of that. Hearing that crap. We got to come together. We have to come together. Why come to? Why 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 are we trying to save a a burning building that's already you know burnt down? The building's on fire. It's going to burn down. Why are we wasting our time? And, and of course, uh, black women, for, for the most part, they are the main causes of, of the destruction of the black community because they run it. Since uh, Lyndon B. Johnson signed that Great Society Act, black black men are out of the pick are basically out the picture. Women get the uh, the, the benefits, the welfare. Mm -hmm. and black women run the black community, and it's shit. They they they, they raise bad. Uh, not saying that. All men that come from single mother homes are bad, but but just in general, right? They raise black men to be feminine. They don't. It, it's just it's just bad, man. Uh, their teenage sons are shooting. They're stealing. They're committing crimes. Mm -hmm. It's just now you'll have some single mothers that that's going to red pill their the, 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 uh, their black sons. But overall, man, the black community is a joke, and black women are getting mad at guys like me and you and others on this uh, on the stream, right? Because we don't want to save something that they caused. They caused the destruction. They chose bad men. They chose the welfare check. They chose daddy government. They chose feminism. They got what they got. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Well, yeah, that I had that in mind too about like the Lyndon B. Johnson Act. Because then that's what started like the fatherless homes. And this is why you have like the LGBTQ community existing now. Um, you have like men converting, want to be trans and want to be gay. And 
this is what started like the United States. Like, what was the point of having troops of the United States when you like have like a inside war, aka the United States? There's like a bio is basically like a biological warfare going on because you have men cutting off their penises, men like to become women, and men just eating like like you said earlier, you know this food that like lacks the testosterone like basically depletes the testosterone out of us and want us to like convert to being gay and we we actually like want to hang out with females for validation um because like you never fit in with males that are masculine or you have like my mothers and like grew up in a feminine household without no father so that's a, vul- a huge vulnerability right there. So I can I can really see that, you know, people might just want to play like, parents alone, want to like feed like like um, or you have like a beta husband or like a mom, like a a male version. Like want to be like the husband and the mom at the same time, so that's a, in a in a way that's like a transsexual type of ordeal. Because even though she's not transsexual physically, she's transsexual spiritually. Because like you, you have like a mom that want to like be controlling, which my mom was. She was like, you know, taking taking over the household, and that's just why you have a like masculine men. Or uh, men who like obtain like criminal activities and acting out, and they have no lack of male guidance. So, what was so it's just kind of like it brings back to saying, like, what's the point of like you, um, women need a man, but you emasculate a man that you know trying to be good to you and doesn't like just want to be opposed to the expectations that you had in mind that come by one in your reality. So I, I never understood that. Yeah, man. You're definitely right because it, it, it just shows that the ignorance and just the, the unwillingness to, and that's the thing about the black community too. They don't want to accept correction. Like, if you tell them the truth, they're going to curse you. I'd be like, who the F is you? Who the F is you? Right? But but then a black hood truth is that we got we, we just got to let them go. Let it, let them suffer. Because at the end of the day, people are going to do what they want to do. So in regards to the black community, and I do feel bad for the kids, but I, I'm, I'm not going to – I'm not going to – be the fixer, man. I'm not going to pick up the pieces that, that that they broke. And at the end of the day, man, the children suffer the most because of the selfishness, the greed, no discipline. The children suffer. You're bringing a child to this world because you're horny, you want to right. get some dick, you want some pussy, and because of that, you two hate each other now. The child has to be caught up in all your all the crap. Mm-hmm. It's sad, man. It really is. That's why I'm doing myself a favor by staying away from it. I don't. I personally don't want no kids. I'm not gonna bring no kids to this world, man. I really don't. And also, I personally just don't have the patience for it. I like to be alone and just do my own thing, anyways. But the black community, it's dead. It's over. I laugh at these news organizations talking about the black community and the black community is like there is no community, man. It's 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 been dead, it's destroyed. I mean, it is. It's it's already like been destroyed and it's it's already been spoken for, man. And you can't like really bring you can't really revive a dead horse that's already had like maggots and and like you know flies all over it. So like I like this is already dead and I can't really it's it's already an opposition to begin with with us it's 
Mm-hmm. Like we always like, you know, surpass each other. We always like putting down each other, kill each other over a girl, especially. Oh my god! Yeah. And, like we we kill each other like over the littlest things that we can actually like, you know. Uh, what was it like we can actually just accomplish? But like other communities work together in unison, and we go into other communities like looking for validation. And uh, most don't get us wrong, like us nice guys and us people from MGTOW, we try to seek foundation who are like minded like us, like in a good way. But we try to like other people look for validation like somewhere else that's like more troubling to them and like like i said before like a more like a demonic you know urge you get this yeah. demonic urge to like like find something like bad and like you know interact with people that are like up to no good like even with like other races so like is it's not going to get any better either way it's not and that's why the black manosphere you know because i used to be in those conversations but they keep talking about black men and black women need to come together and all and that and, and i'd be saying why y'all wasting your time saying that we know it's not going to happen you're right it's already it's already done like and we know the statistics more than 70 percent of black women are single mothers Mm-hmm. It's done, and these pro blacks are trying to us young black men that these black women don't want for the most part. They want us to go in there and help take care of their damn kids. I'm not doing mm-hmm. that. I'm sorry. I'm no, not. Gonna, man. I, <laughs> no, I am not gonna. No. I am not gonna be taking care of. Um, we've had Akisha's kids. No. 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 Black Karen, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, you know it. It's not right. it's not fair to us because us us black men, you know, us men in general, we work our butts off of where we're at. And because of their stupid decisions that they make, we gotta step in and fix the um the, the um pick up the pieces where 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 they messed up. No, they're gonna have to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? And and thanks to MGTOW, the 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 the, the rate of men uh, taking care of, of uh, other women's other man's kids that sh- that stuff is going down thanks to the manosphere, mm-hmm. the single mother thing, because dating single mothers in the manosphere that's a no no and, and a lot of men woke up from that they're like you know what yeah that is true why am I take why am I helping th- this woman out why am I taking care of her kids why right. how's it benefiting me what's it doing for me. Of course, society's going to say it's a manly thing to do. Of course, they're going to say that, but it's at the expense of you, not them. You're not going to reap the benefits of uh, being with a single mom. It, it just doesn't make sense. And in 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 black single motherhood, black black single mothers get praised on the news. Oh, she's a strong woman. She takes care of her own. Why are oh, I'm actually this uh, blind sets blind sets and McTow. Why do you need, okay, do I need to be told that I'm doing a good job because I go to work and pay my bills? No, I'm supposed to do that. Why are the, why are single mothers getting praised for something that, that, that they're supposed to do? Yeah. Um, when I say it like that, like, women get praised for this because they get placed um, they can play like with the government, and the government use them as a faint trailquist. Like, um, they basically winning, um, on a low, and women don't even know about this. Women starting to wake up now, of course, about like, women just been playing the bills, and like that's why I don't. This is one of the reason, main reasons why I don't take care of women. I don't take care of uh, women's kids. I don't want to be with women because I don't know if they have kids. That's them. Like I just want. They ain't gonna tell you. <laughs> they're, they're not gonna even gonna tell you. Like 
like until you like be with them and once you go be in their house, all of a sudden you seem like toys laying around the floor. They ain't probably seem like a playpen and stuff. So like I I just don't even want to deal with these people. Give me some time, take the tap. Yeah, so it was like I can't really do with these these uh single mothers because they'll like spiritually you feel like you got a head start and like then you're taking somebody else's DNA and I I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, it's like I almost I almost did it though. I almost did it um with that Jamaican woman. Uh I didn't take care of a kid, nor did I see the kid in person, of course, but I was there to like be with her, but I was like, I just had to cut off immediately. And so like that's why I just one of the reasons why it's a contribution to be in the MGTOW community. And like I didn't I didn't really want to be with them. Like I don't want to be with like a Western woman who has kids. And like especially like you go to a bar or a club, you just feel vulnerable and you have like I even like they all seem like women from Instagram that I know in person has like, you know, kids like that are like seven, eight years old and they still go to the club. People women might. Yeah. I'm like, you figure that you figure that they'll put that stuff away and start focusing on the children, but no, they care about more attention. And you know it's really sad. You got single mothers, they be posting their children on the Instagram trying so they're basically using their children for attention. That's fucked up. Look at me. I'm a strong, I'm a strong mother. I'm a strong mother doing it on my own. But I'm like, you're supposed to take care of your child. You want a cookie for it? You want a you want a championship prize for it? That's what you're supposed to do. So what women are doing is they're leveraging their kids to get attention and validation. Yeah, like wait, like if you're gonna, like I said, like if you're so strong and independent, then where's the father? Please tell me where where is the father's at? You know, like where is the biological father if you're so called independent and you want to like have your telling your kids like as a trophy prize like on the Instagram post? You're not supposed to do that. That you're supposed to like keep that private. Yeah. Like if this so called father was bad and you like left him out of the picture, then why? then why go that route? Why maintain that gimmick or that character of yours and keeping that same energy that why you put like on like this vibration or this domino effect of other women like, oh, I can be this way as well. Like you, you, you got to stop. Like this is why women like do yeah, just that, like, walk, just using it as a doormat. Like, these single women use you as a doormat. Like, I, that's why I can't do it. That's why I just sidestep, keep it moving, become a MGTOW man. And I just, like, seeing, like, the attributes of how, like, you'll see, like, these same women on Instagram have kids. And this will be shocking in public. Like, taking care of them like oh she has kids it's like this is the same mother that's like showing nudity on here this mm-hmm. is the same woman that's like putting like derogatory <laughs> posts and like having tattoos all over her body having kids is this is your your american woman that's the greater question and the thing is you know to god children are innocent the precious God's going to hold them accountable for that. The, the, the dads too. Because you are doing a disservice to these kids out of your own selfish desire, out of your own selfish game for attention and validation, trying to look cool, trying to be hip. Your child is suffering. While you're in a club shaking your ass, showing your pussy to everybody, you're not, you're not taking care of your child. Right. And and this is why I don't waste my time with these chicks at all. And and people ask me, oh, you're not going to have kids. I want to actually like, why do, why do I want to have kids with these chicks? Why do I want to share my DNA with these females? Why would I do that? 
Why do I want to share my seed with them? Yeah, why? like that. They it's it's really unfair. Like that's why I just felt like really angry and mad. Like the woman that I fall in love with, the woman who has interest in me, has a kid, and like. Like these women need to be held calm, but I even have a friend to this day. She he has like two older siblings, two older sisters that like go out of their way. Basically, like have like he had to take care of his nieces and the grandma got to take care of them. And they go to a freaking club or bar, do whatever, and get into fights, damn near go to jail. And and just like you have these kids going buck wild and don't have no morals and stuff. Like there are certain kids that have morals here. Don't get me wrong, but like you post a hell accountable for your kids. What's the point of having a kid and when you don't want them or just don't be accountable? I've been telling my friend this repeatedly. Like I can't stress that enough. Like women who are like younger, a little younger than me, and like older than me, they still act like little kids. Like I'm I have like more common sense than them. Like if I have a kid and we have we do something over the weekend and that's what they do. They do the opposite. They dump their kids here and then like do go somewhere else. Like God knows where like traveling to another state, coming back or do other shenanigans. But you know that it, it's just not like I be I be I be peeping that out way like what is y'all doing like if like I like I said if I had a kid like I would go out my way like go like Dave and Buster's or like do something like productive with the kid not just dump them there and like me like going to a club that's like that's bad on me my mom will like cuss me out. Or like just talking to sense into me, cause, cause I'm not a child anymore. Like I'm the child of God. I'm not gonna like, like I'm just gonna like tell my wife, like idealistically. I don't. I'm single, of course, but I'm just gonna say like, hey, we we gonna like do something together. We gonna like go X, Y, and Z. So like, let's just do something fun. You know what I mean? Like that's mm-hmm. the thing about the black community which is interesting in a way because we're the only community that does that we dump our kids abandon our kids into a grand grandpa and a grandma uncle environment then like we go to a bar and club other races don't do that they they do this like they be with their kid and wife in unison like do something positive with themselves yeah it's kind of sad that that. That. yeah it's kind of sad that you see grandparents raising their child's kids when they already raised their child mm-hmm. and their child has made bad decisions and now they got to help it's like the parents have done the job and you're making their job harder like no you're the parent you are responsible i know i'm the grandparent but i've done my damn job you need to do mm-hmm. your job and speaking of that i want to talk to you about the church the black church in general and 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 right. I, and, and i'll get my piece real quick right i don't go to church anymore i still believe in god i don't either I don't. Um, because what I'm starting to see is that the church, the church is not stepping up. They don't care about men. They basically I, I was told by somebody that this pastor was telling black men to date the single mothers in the church and the black men left. More what men are the leaving hell? the church. Yes, that's what I was told. And <laughs> the church, the church, they're Whoa. preaching prosperity. They're, they're preaching prosperity gospel. They're, mm-hmm. they're they're not holding women accountable. They want to tell them what they want to hear. And the problem with church is that they're in bed with, with the state. And I tell people this all the time, right? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm all for godly marriage, but here's the problem. Here's the trick, right? It's supposed to be man, woman, a covenant with God, not the state. So right. Christians piss me off when they want to see here and tell me, oh, you're not going to get married. I told them, no, I am not going to. I am not going to involve the, the government into my marriage. I'm not going to get married anyway, but that's what I was telling them. That's not how it was designed. Man took over. Man took control of what God has ordained. Man, woman, and God. 
that's why um, the the damn Republicans are trying to protect religious. Ri- but my problem with the Republicans is that here's my thing: the state should have never been involved anyways. It should have never been involved anyways. And then the whole thing of no fault divorce and all that. Men are getting screwed. The church is a joke. They are not of God. And to be honest, these churches want to make their own rules and try to try to uh, justify, well, you know, this is what it is to be a uh, Christian and all this and that. And they're not holding the women accountable. They're afraid to stand up. They're all about the money. You got these preachers. You got these preachers buying boats and buying brand new cars and all of that. They don't give a damn about the people. They only care about themselves. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I, I don't blame young men for not going to church anymore. I feel like today at this point, it's blue pill to go to church. In my opinion, it's blue pill to go to church now because it's like, what's the point? It's full of single mothers. It's full of it's full of simps. And, and, and women run these churches now. The men in the church are. Like it's it's a waste of time for any man to go to church. If I want to learn about God, I can just read my Bible or read the Holy Scriptures. Why do I have to go? Why do I have to give a man twenty dollars in a gold bucket, and he prays over the offering? He was like, "Come bless his kingdom." It's going to his pockets. It's not going to the kingdom. It's going to his pockets. So even so, even the church now has uh, gone corrupt. Right. Feminism has taken over the church. Exactly. <clears throat> yeah, feminism just took over like crazy, even like in workplaces. Um now I can I can give you an example where like I have like a friend, well he's not even a friend, but like he's like much, much older. He's like in his forties. And I remember one time back in twenty fourteen at Cincy State, I'll never forget this. Not to be off subject or anything, but um but I remember he did like a um, a presentation about women in the workplace, and and this is coming from his mouth. And I was like, "Why are you talking about women in the workplace?" And like, and he was just pretty much praising him. I was like, "Dude, is such a simp." Now, this is the same guy that I worked at the museum, just in a uh, what the museum at the time with. And like he been trying to like talk to like every female security guard and like I just be like rolling my eyes like bro, and like women don't even want him for real for real. Like it's like the women that he wanted didn't want him, but the women that wanted him was like like fat or something. So like that that just brings back to like simps. And like having like simps in the uh, black community. Yeah, you're right, man. And <clears throat> my parents raised me in church my whole life. We had to go to church every freaking Sunday. Now, of course, mm-hmm. we had some uh, um, Sundays off. Facts: the roots of evil. Five hundred one c three. If any churches are in bed with them, they are not of God. Trust me, they aren't. Um, because again, tax free from the government, the government should not be involved in religion, point blank, period. That's why they made the, the uh, separation of church and state. And, th- and this is what pisses me off about, about the cuck servant. And, bro, I gotta be honest with you, the conservatives are cucks, bro. They want to talk about their red pilled and politics and all that, but they're not red pilled about the females, bro. They're not calling the females out. They don't want to talk about female nature and they don't want to talk about how the marriage laws are screwed. And honestly, Again, the state should not be involved in marriage anyway, but you got these conservatives, they're, they're not willing to do anything. That's why I don't involve myself with the, um, with the church anymore, because to me, they want to make their own rules. They, they want to sit here and bash and bash men. Men need to step up. Men need to step up. Men need to step up. But yet you got you got the women out here. They're choosing bad men. They're being whores. They don't they don't. You know, you know, they tell the women in the church, we all make mistakes. God still forgives you. But us men, if we make mistakes, we're, we're the worst of the worst. It's a double standard. The church is, is a joke, and I don't want anything to do with it no more. I'll praise God in my truck, in my in my crib, and right. I'll just keep it a personal relationship between me and him. Right, man, and like the good thing about the Bible is you can't blue pill the Bible because the the Bible is actually red pill. Because think about it, the preacher never spoke about Proverbs like 
um, about women and stuff, do they? Well, I'll just be serious. Not, not, not that I've heard. Not, not from what I've seen. Zilch, completely zilch, dude. Like they don't talk about like, um, like, um, because Proverbs. That's what's, that's pretty much my go-to chapter is Proverbs. Because they in Proverbs they talk about like, um, don't be with a contentious woman. And that's like really spot on back in 2017 because, like, because they do develop a duplication in the church about like scriptures and stuff, but they never go in depth with the scripture, especially with women. It's pretty rare in the black community and churches they go deep about women because if they did, guess what? Your deep, it'll pretty much generates a depopulation with women if you think about it. Yeah, and these churches need money, so of course they're gonna tell the women that, hey, we all make mistakes. Uh, you're a strong mother, even though in reality she's a whore and she chose the wrong men, which is the truth. But of course, society's not gonna say it because, again, you see, and this is how society makes their money. You see, they basically tell us men to work hard. Um, it's, it's an honorable thing to do. Uh, this is not wrong working hard, but you should have a family, have a wife, have kids, and you know, you're the man of the house. Right. But but in the reality, that's not really the case. You're basically just a working slave. Um, because at, at the end of the day, fellas, women have leverage over you because the laws are in place that way. They set the laws to be against you. So that's how, that you see, that's how they convince a lot of men. This is why a lot of young men out here want to get married and have kids all that stuff, because society has told them this is what a real man does. But what they don't understand is that when you do that, you're giving up your freedom, you're giving up your rights as a man, mm -hmm. and women has more leverage over you. So men fall for this, and then they get screwed. It's, it's, it's sad, man. It's like, I just wish the simps will, will realize and wake up that this society is against you. The system is against you. They hate you. But they don't want to see it because they like, they like let's just keep it real, they like vagina too much. Mm -hmm. And and that's what it is. Sexual discipline, blind assessment me tell. Men are not, a lot of men are not disciplined, man. Guys can't go one day without sex. I haven't had sex in three years. You're a virgin. We're fine. We're not saying, oh, we need sex, we need sex. We're not doing that because we're content with what, what with who we are, what we do. We have discipline. We're focused on, you know, things that really matter. But you got guys out here, they feel like if they don't have sex, they're going to die. And sex is not all that special. It feels good. Yes, I'm not going to lie. It feels good, but it's not all that. It's not what life is not all about getting women and having sex. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not about that. And unfortunately, a lot of men are falling for this trap and then they're paying for it. Now you got men are, are saying, man, I wish I've never gotten married. So you did all of this just because you believe that you're going to get sex all the time. Most most married men tell me they don't get sex a lot. They don't. Mm. Women, women use sex to lure you in. Sex is the is the is woman's number one weapon to lure, manipulate, and trap men into doing their bidding. And once she gets what she wants from the man, in her mind, I don't have to give him sex no more. I got the, mm -hmm. I, I'm his wife now. I don't have to give him anything. And if he divorces me, that's fine. I'll just take half of his stuff. That's how they get you. That's how they get you, gentlemen. That's how they get you. Yeah. Yeah, and that goes back to the, the church. Like, you even have, like, pastors. That same pastor you listen to is, like, pretty much cheating on your wife. Like, your wife is cheating on him. And you'll get these allegations on you to even more. Your pastor is a low-key homosexual. The same homosexual that, met, like, screwed your wife and stuff. Then want to, like, take care of a low-key kid. I mean... Is really corrupting, man. That's why I don't really deal with churches, even like college churches, because it's like really milk toast. Uh, if nobody milk toast is, look it up. Um, but it's like really emasculated and turned out in a way to me. That that just me because like I just read the Bible alone, you know. 
Um, I just go to like variety of subjects, what I'm, what I can relate to, and like, um, you know, like just resonate my mind with, just become more wise every day. So. Yeah, and and, and also right, um, you speak of college universities, right? Right. I, I gotta be honest with you. College and Christian schools are bull crap. It is. It's all about making money to them. I don't take Christian universities serious because at the end of the day, they're all about making money. Mm -hmm. Why? And and nowadays, you got to get a, a theology degree. You got to get a degree to become a pastor. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? So man, so man has designed their own ways of being a preacher, how to teach the word, and you got parents sending, bro. What's the, and by the way, I was told that Christian universities, people be sleeping around anyways. They still be having sex at these Christian schools. So why, so why are they even wasting time going to a Christian school when, when they could just went to a regular school for cheaper? You're going to do that stuff. Again, it's all for validation. Yeah. All for validation. I want to go to Liberty. Man, man, screw Liberty. Screw Region University. Screw them damn schools, man. You mean yeah. to tell me I, I got to pay all this money and then and then they want to force me to go to prayer? First of all, I'm a grown man. You see, and this is why this is why a lot of people leave the church, right? Mm -hmm. God, God gave everybody free will, right? I asked my parents, says, why are you forcing me to go to church? I'm a grown man. Let me think for myself. Well, it's only in my house, and, and and I and I respect that it's their house, right? But but let me make the choice. That's a problem with a lot of Christian parents today. That they're trying to force, they're trying to force people, trying to make them do it. Let them choose. How about you be an example? Like for example, right? My mom and you know the Kim's claims to be a Christian, right? But yeah, she votes Democrat. Mm -hmm. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat. I'm not saying vote Republican either, but it's like, how can you say you're a Christ follower, but yet you're voting Democrat? When you know they stand for LGBTQ, they, they, they stand for open borders and child sex trafficking, pedophilia. Really? And, and also, Blonde says it makes, I don't know if you know this, but there's missing books in the Bible. Very. There's a lot of missing books. So these, these churches, what they do is they read a couple, they read one or two verses in the whole service. They talk about it, then they start talking about themselves, how great they are and, and how, what cars they buy. And then they close prayer and then you go home. Mm -hmm. It's the same old thing. And I got tired of church, man, because I was forced to do it. If you force me to do something, I'm not going to like it. Mm -hmm. Give me the choice. I would have enjoyed church more if I was um if I had the choice now. Knowing what I know now, I wouldn't I don't want anything to do with it now. To me, all it is, church is just a beta male sanctuary. That's what it is. Like, in my opinion, I, I don't know how you feel about this, but knowing what we know now, you gotta be a beta to, to go to church. It's beta at this point be going to church now it's some beta ass shit yeah it's more God, like living it's God. Total, i don't have to go i don't have to go to church to do that yeah that's based on like um now you have like cuck old relationships like you know <laughs> it's it's nuts man like you you can't you can't take church real seriously now because i've been there done that i've been with like I haven't been with like people who went to high school with me um, while I was in high school, and like they feel like they've been they the look on their face alone like they've been indoctrinated too. So I'm not even surprised, and like you know, like they felt brainwashed, and you know, you feel like a black sheep even in church in high school. So I never take the took the church real seriously. It was like real boring and stuff anyway. Like, because you have to just sit there and it's, it's no different from sitting in a classroom. 
uh, preach the word and like, yeah, I just have nothing of it. Now that I'm 30, I'm just like, you know, just want to like create my own church home in my head. That way I can like get my mind right versus like somebody getting my mind right. So I can't really let like, nobody fix me. I mean, there are certain verses that are good and all, but it's again, it's like a recycle that that's never been like broken out of. And the black church, they tick me off the most. Mm -hmm. Because they keep saying, we got to go out into the community and do this and that and this and that, but they don't do nothing. They don't go to these. You see, it's so funny that the men in the church that are there, they want to say how we should step up. Why don't they tell Pookie and Ray Ray to step up? Right. They ain't going to do that. But you got pastors out there going door to door to distribute, you know, jabs and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And and I want to ask you about the political climate. You know, we're and this is a great stream, by the way. I'm really enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it. I am, definitely. What do you think about the political climate today? I, I don't know if you're into politics now. I'm not really into it. I know some things. But what do you think about the political cl climate today? Uh, Political climate? Yeah. Um, it's, it's really been, like, real well congested and spiritually well congested because... And I'm going to get my laundry so Huh? I'm going to take my, my, my laundry out the dryer. Go ahead, brother. I'm listening. I got my, my Bluetooth in. Okay. Um, Like, the infrastructure alone, like, it's well, well congested because problems never been fixed. You know, the regulations in the Black community is, like, still, like, still forever will be... Um, how can I put this? They'll be bad and like not, you know, not being well shaped and formed. Like the structures in America is like, you know, like in governed because it's never been governed. And you still have like LGBT. Um, you have like these drag, you still letting these drag queens and people like letting in elementary schools tell them it's all right to be gay and like to like having story time with them, even have story time with preschoolers. Don't you think like why why these parents are not you know going to like knocking on the principal's door saying like hey why why are you letting this happen? Why are you letting this this transsexual human being like being inside like the school like having story time with my kids and like even like touching them in in a really perverted manner you know what i mean like i i don't really see that as like what are the benefits behind that because this you even have like plays about like talking about like a pedophilia play that's existing right now is called a downstate or something like that. But Joe Biden never eliminates, like never, never really eliminates sex, human or um, child trafficking at all. Trafficking is still ongoing. That's the thing we never poke at. We never poke at the killer whale and we never question it question anything about it we just let things go right in front of us right we never question it nor physically eliminate things that's why like, why like that's really disturbing us so like why but why let things that exist that was disturb us but we listen we listen to joe biden that we, we let things disturb us that we can never that that are continuing you know what I mean? Like we let things like like uh control. Like yeah. like we let things like the mafia, the those the powers that be take rebel that we can't like we can't discontinue. So like you have like trafficking that's ongoing. The president is not sure as hell not going to do anything, doing anything about it because, of course, he's part of it. So, 
things are really orchestrated and it's a fluke. So it's gonna well, so it's in our court in the US and this is going to or, overseas too with the pop like the trafficking and stuff. We need to eliminate that. Well we land uh, this false leader, aka the president, when they exist. Yeah, man. Um, uh, unfortunately, man, we have um, leaders that I don't really consider my leaders, man. Uh, we have idiots, man. And and I and, and I'm gonna be controversial here, man. I don't think women should have the right to vote. I don't see it. I don't say it in a mean way. The the reason why I say that women shouldn't vote is because they don't vote on uh, on logic. Most of them vote based on emotion. Since the 19th Amendment, man, things have gone on downhill. Because in my opinion, I'm not saying that every man is smart, but more men are logical in this sense. You see, there's roles that um, that men and women have, but society has lied to both gen- has lied to men and women and tell them, oh, you can as a man, you can let these things slide. As a woman, you can you can be a man too. You can do anything a man can do, which is a lie. Because God has ordained us men to lead our, our, our mm-hmm. families, our household, our communities. That, yeah. That's what has ordained. But feminism and all these people have put into our heads that, no, nah, it doesn't have to be that way. You don't have to do things that way. And that's what's going on. And, and, and again, I don't know how people feel about it, but I personally don't believe women should have the right to vote, man. Look at what most of them vote for. Mm-hmm. They want women vote because... For example, right when Trump was in office, right, um, black women got mad at him because he took welfare away from them. So, so, so they voted to make sure he got out of office. Um, I personally don't believe that we should be that our tax dollars should be paying for welfare. Um, I believe that every penny that we earn at our jobs we should keep because I don't believe in paying taxes at all. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't believe in paying taxes. So that's just me. But for overall, yeah. to me, the, the political climate is a joke, man. I don't really participate. Um, I just try to handle my business, do what I have to do. Um, rely on God. And that's what it's because we see it's getting worse out here. And and because of politics, man, politics is really divided people. Mm-hmm. As, like, if you don't agree with somebody on, on, on a certain topic, then oh you're oh you're racist, oh you're Hitler, oh you're misogynist, oh you're you're, you're xenophobe. It's like damn, we can't dis- we can't respectively disagree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like um I can be controversial too on this live stream, but you remember that one time when like Donald Trump was pointing out the like pedophilia, like he was, he was pointing out like celebrities and stuff. Yes. I think this happened around like 2020 ish or somewhere around like COVID. I think before COVID. That was when like Jeff Epstein was in jail or something. And like yeah. he was pointing out like um, the deep state and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And so like um, there's like a lot of celebrities nowadays that are like in the deep state are bound or waiting for being arrested. And people think that's like people are in shock. This is really real. Yeah, this is yeah. real. Yeah, like, our this government. Is my huh? Yeah, our government, believe it or not, politicians, man, they're into pedophilia, sex trafficking of children, organ, really, organs, or yeah, organ harvesting. Yep. These people are sick, man. These people are very sick. And and, and it pisses me off when I see these fake politicians have that smile on their face, acting like they care about the people, but in reality, they're just evil, demonic scum. And, right. and, and you notice the media, they use this term, conspiracy theorists. Oh, well, that's just a conspiracy theory. But turns out that these conspiracy theorists, they're telling the truth. They're telling the truth. Mm-hmm. And and J.J. Diesel Cowboy, this is what he says. I agree with you, Batman. It's blatantly clear in 1 Timothy 
uh, chapter 2, verses 9 through 13, women are not permitted to teach or have authority over men. Also, women are supposed to dress modestly. What do you think about that verse? Um, it's plain and clear. Women are compared not permitted to teach or have authority over men. Oh, wow. That's actually deep. I need to. Is that for, yeah, First Timothy. Gotcha. Um, that's actually. Wow. OK, that's that that hit me. Um, Cause like the Bible, people think the Bible is not real. People think the Bible is like a comic book. I mean, it is to a point where where it's like it's has like a foremention, has like a foreshadow what's going to happen if you pay it if you deeply pay attention to the Bible. And they, and these are one of the one of the um, scriptures that he put down in the um, chat. So I need to, need to go in there, but I. What I thought about is, is that, yeah, you know, like women should not have authority, especially like women being teachers in public schools. You hear about these women, women having sex with like underage kids. Like women should not like have authority over men because like, um, because it's like they, they teach different, they have emotions, they easily manipulate the kid and manipulate, you know, whoever easily. So, like, you can't, you can't really, you can't really take a woman seriously when it comes to authority. But even yeah, though right. I'm a woman who is like a police woman out here. Because police women can act sexually too. Let's be serious. Man, nobody takes, I gotta be honest with you, man. No one takes female cops seriously at all. <laughs> no, it's like, no. like when it comes to their uniform, it's like they like dress up like this. It's like Halloween to them. Think about it. Yeah, you're right. And bro, I've seen videos on YouTube of, of, of people, they just be playing with, they be toying with female cops because it's like. <laughs> right. I personally don't believe women should be police officers or even be in the military. I mean, the military is corrupt anyway. I'm just talking about when it was good. It's that here's my mm -hmm. thing. I'm not saying that women can't do stuff, but there's certain roles. What they should be doing is be nurturing to their children. And I'm not shaming, and blaming, and explaining. I'm, I'm just saying how, how it should be because mm -hmm. that's how society is supposed to be. But feminism has told them, oh, you can, be, you can do the same thing a man can do, which is a total lie. They can't do the same stuff that we can do. You see what's going on. You see the average woman today working 80 hours in two weeks that they're stressed out. They're overworked. They, they, they have mental problems. Like, they can't handle it, man. No, like, they Cause, can't. Cause they, they weren't designed to handle all that. What they're designed to do is make sure that the house is, is in good order. That's it. And then you got women out here. You got wives suing their husbands for like hundreds of thousands of dollars, saying that um, that that, that um, I should be getting paid for taking care of us. So you should be paid for being a wife. Really? Man, like really? Yeah, like it's like women. Like Ofra uh, has really done. Ofra has done a good job in brainwashing these these chicks, man. Who? Who? Ofra oh, Winfrey. That? Uh, yeah, all these female famous the talk view. show hosts, The View. Um, definitely, and, and like, sad. Like, my mom, my mom watches The View, and, and my mom claims to be mine a too. Mine too. That. She watches yeah. that crap. Yeah, yeah. Like you gotta like peep, like peep the, like every. I don't, I don't know why people just like brush it on the rug, but like every year. Um, I'm just gonna like speak on this a little bit, but every go ahead, year, brother. Like you have like these female teachers taking control over your kids, like in a sexual manner, especially these younger boys. Yeah, they're not ready for sex. And then they have like a wider sentence. Like what the actual hell? Yeah, those are man. Oh man, man, that prison. That's like maximum prison sentence. Get like 
19 or 20 years. That's not going to be, that's about over 10 years of a man like did that to like a younger, like, like if it's like, say if you have like a younger female uh, that's from high school that's been flirtatious and then like just drag you into having sex with her, then you, it's done, you're done. Yeah. Like, you, they're going to like pull like an R. Kelly case on you. It, it's over. Yeah, man, it, it, it's a wrap at this point. Yeah, like 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 we're starting to see um the bigger picture in, in all of this. Um, it, it, it's just sad, bro. The double standards are, are are bad, and believe it or not, people don't know this, but women kill kill their kids more than men do. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, and, um, wait, what you say? I'm sorry, I got zoned out for a moment. Oh, you're good, you're good. And overall, men got to understand this, and I'll say this again. You're not respected. You are hated. You are expected to be a male servant. You are expected to allow your hormones to control you. Mm -hmm. That's what society expects, because they see other men doing it. But when they see guys like us and say, nah, we're going to be disciplined. We're going to make logical decisions. We're going to think before we do stuff. We're not going to be simps. They have a problem with it. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, men are strong. Think, man. What is strong? Us men are very strong, man, especially the simps out there. They just don't know it, man, because they've been brainwashed to believe that they're only strong. If, if they submit to the corrupt system and to the female, that's not true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I just realized, uh, not to be sidetracked, I just realized I had like, almost like 200 views on the, the recent video I made, but but I just want to say thank you and others for, um, for commenting and liking my uh, recent video I made about bipolar women being narcissistic being like befriending them that's not okay especially in the u.s because there's like a lot of mental health issues mental health is the number one thing in the u.s that's never been surpassed at all it's like women are meant to be like somebody said uh diesel jj diesel said they're meant to be helpmates not to be the opposition or being face to face with a man, you know what I mean? Like, you're not supposed to like be like have competition with him, which is real silly. Because when like when you be a like be a a, a component to men, you're not gonna win regardless. Even if you're a female bodybuilder, you're still gonna be defeated. Like. Like, you can't, like, compete with a man even in MMA because I've seen it before. You know, I can care less if women will win, but at the end of the day, men are on top. And even, like, the government is trying to, like, our own government is trying to, like, you know, surpass or emasculate, like, um, like masculinity. And I hate that. I really hate that. And... You have like TV shows like The Golden Girls, Sex in the City, Girlfriends, um, by any female TV show that that's like to clown on or embarrass men or let men be like beta males. Like I, I just like dismiss that and like like see like what real men's values versus being emasculated and being blue pill. You know, that's a fact, man. And women eat that shit up, and you see the results of what's going on now. They they, they really believe the stuff that these shows be saying. Mm. Just like Satan lured uh, Eve to eat an apple. Women are easily influenced. Yeah. yeah, and I know guys want to go overseas and get married and all, but guess what? Some of these women, these women overseas, man, they got cell phones too. You mean to tell me they don't look at YouTube? They don't look at Netflix? 
They don't look at BET. They don't look at MTV. They look at that stuff too, man. Ariana Grande, Doja Cat, bro. Brazilian, bro, Brazilian women, especially the young ones, they love Doja Cat. We all know how Doja Cat is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's no different. It's not like. Why waste our time? Why waste our time dating right. shit when we already know what the results going to be? Why waste our time? We already know what's going to happen. He's right. like influence. Mm-hmm. We're not respected as men. We're just not. I'm going to put these back in the dry. Go ahead. I couldn't hear you. It's like away from your phone or something. I'm trying to. Man, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put some of my clothes back in the dryer. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't quite hear what you were saying, but um, yeah, like you know, people like women need to like. What I suggest them to do is like look into the deep state and see what the government is really, really doing. Like, see what because. You don't know if like you got they sometimes they gotta look at their children. They gotta look at their children and see like you know is it worth like bringing them to school, especially elementary schools. Like I said before, because you have like drag queens that are coming in, like telling story times to kids, and God knows what they like what they put in their heads psychologically. And like they just like women nowadays don't take the consider consideration of like why is your daughter is like trying to like almost being like a future slut? Why is your son being emasculated? Like why is the father is like away from the household and why is your behavior? They don't question like women don't question their behavior when they have a family. And that's why I have like like narcissism bipolar mental health is on the rise and it's like like because family that have like self-competition with their own family members dismiss morals you know it breeds dysfunction it breeds competition it breeds you know being with other family members that you know that can take care of them and like I'm pressed pretty much I'm one of those statistics I just named. You know. Mm-hmm. But yeah. It is not a good like that's why, you know, the JJ Diesel said it's like that's why single mothers exist. It's all about competition with the children and the father in the home. You're not wrong, man, and, and 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 that's what gets me. Nobody wants to talk about the main issue to society: single mother homes. Mm-hmm. Why is that, man? And we'll think about it. We we already know the stats, man. Mm-hmm. Most young men come from single mother homes. The rape, depressed, suicide, cause crime. Mm-hmm. Um, become a transgender, mental health problems. Just uh, just a lot of stuff, man. Just mm-hmm. a lot of stuff. Society, all you know, society does. They praise it. So when they praise single mothers, you know what that tells me. They praise the destruction of young men. Mm-hmm. That's what I see. And we're gonna call it out. I don't care if if people say that we're being misogynist and all that. It's not about bashing women being misogynist. It's about saving right. um, the generation. Now I understand we can't save it. And our content, we can say what we say, but it's it's up to people, man. They know what's going on, but they just choose not to acknowledge the fact that the kids are suffering. Mm-hmm. And I will I will I will not have kids out of selfish desire. I just won't do it. Mm-hmm. Regardless of what my family says, I don't care what they say. If I have children, I want to make sure that they're in a good environment. Now, will I ever have children in my life? No. But if I did, I want to make sure that I'm prepared, fin- that I'm set financially to even have them. Bl- blind yeah. assessment. You, you, got, you got young people. 
having kids, they can't they can't even afford them. Does that make right. any sense? It doesn't. It really doesn't. Like I even have like a friend, the same friend I have, like taking care of his nieces and grandma, take care of him. That's the same one. Like even um his uh cousin, he's like he's younger than us combined. Like in his early twenties, and he's in jail mm -hmm. for act by acting now by trying to steal a car. And look where he's at now. Wow, jail. that's a smart steal a car. And you have a kid, a newborn at that. Man, that's very mature. Man. That's what I'm talking about. That's why, about, like, luckily, at the age of 30, that's why I don't have kids. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, because guess what? We have kids, then our kids are going to have to go to school with the um with the other kids. And, and y'all know, in, and y'all know in, in the Asian countries, right? Asians look down on single mothers. They don't allow their children to play with children from single mother households. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. China. Nothing against a child, but I'm sorry, I'm not yeah. gonna let my child play with yours because nine to eight times out of ten, the parent of that child is toxic. Right. And I don't want and and guess what? When uh, children are visual or visual. So they're going to imitate what the parents does. So if the child if the child sees the, the mother cursing and doing mm -hmm. all that, what do you think the child's going to do? Bro, I've seen single mothers twerk in front of their kids. All the time. Me too. I see it all the time. Yeah. Like, really? Batman, you, you, come on, Batman, lighten up. It's not. It's yeah. not looking good. Blind assessment, it's, it's just. It's not good, and it's not. It's not our problem to fix. We're just calling out the problem, and if society hates us for calling it out, so be it. We don't care. It is what it is. The children yeah. are suffering. This this society is collapsing, and we're gonna continue to go our own way because we're we're not gonna be a part of this mess. Right. And the other thing is, we actually forewarned these women. Actually, you know, actually, we did forewarn these women about, like, the dating. And, like, and look what it comes to now, like, having cats. Or, like, you see now, when you see women on TikTok talking about how they're alone. And, like, they hit the wall. Now they want, like, a, like a good guy now. Mm -hmm. And like you'll you'll see videos on YouTube now, and they're just showing their ugly face, not physically but spiritually, their ugly face, saying that like they won these things now. Now they regret it in the 2010s. Now you see what COVID did. If you pay attention, like COVID was good and bad. It really it really changed the algorithm of how like people behaved. Even though people behave still the same, but like look, look at the people now. Like it changed how like the dating experience it is. Yeah, lifestyles. So like I don't look COVID as being bad in 2020. I looked at it as you know have time for yourself. You're stress free. You don't have to deal with women anymore. You know you're. You're pure. You feel pure. Yep. You know, besides, they're trying to force us to wear masks and stuff, which uh, I don't agree yeah. with. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't agree fun. with that. Like, I just see the good of it instead of like the bad, like, like the um, external environment of it, like wearing masks, being six feet apart. I mean, I get that. Six, um, six, it, six. Mm. Yeah, six six six. Yeah, um, and that goes to the thing about like being like being financially attractive. I have a six figures. I be six feet tall. Um, I forgot the other six, but six six inch dick. Yeah, like yeah, that too. So that falls into the demonic um, possession, and you know, 
so like Sodom and Gomorrah in America. Yeah, man. And um, and I think and women get mad at me when, when I say that you women are gold diggers. I'm not a gold digger. Okay, if, if women here are not gold diggers, then why are they divorcing their husband because of finances? That's the number one cause of divorce, believe it or not. It's finances. So right. if it's not about the money, why are these women divorcing their husbands over finances? Since it's not about the money. Because remember, you took the vow for better or worse or for richer or for poor. Right. They made an oath to God that no matter what happens, they will stick by their husband's side. But again, women in general, they don't give a damn about, well, well these women don't care about God anyway. So... <laughs> Yeah, they, like they, I think they just want the title of the wife. They want to look good in the wedding dress. They want to right. be in the magazine and all that. Women are selfish, man. Mm -hmm. So again, I ask guys this that still want to deal with them on a relationship level. Why? You're not relevant to them. They don't care about you. They only marry you because you have money in your pocket. Mm -hmm. And and they're gonna have a couple kids so they can use those kids as leverage to get a check from the government. And they're gonna divorce you and get alimony. So why waste your time? Mm -hmm. Again, I ask men out there that are watching this, why waste your time? This is reality. Mm -hmm. But hey, it's your choice. If you want to risk everything you got just for for some for a uh, for a piece of ass that's temporary, hey, knock yourself out. Mm -hmm. I'm look, I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking long term. <laughs> that's that's right. the problem with a lot of men. Men don't a lot of men aren't thinking long term, man. They're not. They're thinking about they're thinking about how can they get laid, and look at the results of it. Men are men are homeless. They're living in their cars. They're living on the street. Mm -hmm. They're just they're, they're in bad shape. They're depressed. They're taking their lives, all because they wanted love and they wanted a piece of ass. Now look mm -hmm. where it's got them. It's a scam, man. Right. If, if if God is not in it, it, it doesn't mean anything. The state is involved now, so it doesn't mean anything. At this point, marriage has lost its, its value. It did. Sure did. Yeah, like the reason, real reason why thugs are, um, not thugs, but like the real reason why men are not are being called cold, cold diggers is the thing about it, thugs are not being called gold diggers. Think about it. They ain't got they ain't got money anyway. They don't got money anyway. So like why are the women the same women that you know criticize us? They don't criticize like men who have like low self-esteem, the Chaz and Tyrones, and he's grabbing your money and sucking you dry. And what if he kicks you out the house and that's your home? They never thought about that. That's a huge deadly plot twist. Well, Believe it or not, and people get mad at me for saying this, and um, I know this may be rude to say, in general, women are stupid, man. They're not very smart. They're not. I, I really, I, I come to figure that out. I try not to call people stupid, but I got to call for what it is. When you see the same thing over and over again, when you hear women say, yeah, my boyfriend was an asshole, and he's this and that, but yeah, then a day later, they get back with him. I'm like, yeah. they're stupid, man. Yeah, and in my opinion, I believe that any man that gets married today, after knowing what these women are like, knowing that the laws are against you, bro, any man that gets married today is an idiot. Like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, like I can't can't really get married because Ivan, me and my friend talked about this. And my closest friend, we were saying about how, like, you know, uh. A, a ring, you know, a ring, you know, the marriage and like the ceremony alone is like more than cars to wish and all by itself. Yeah, the average wedding costs like twenty grand. More more than cars to wish and alone. And that's ridiculous. Yeah. Now, I I mean I've been around I've seen being around men who are like younger than me. They're actually like got married. And they don't really see the consequences. They're blind to the consequences. I feel and bad for them because later on they're going to get they're going to get screwed. 
Yeah, they are. It's going to happen eventually. It may not happen in two years, but well, 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 wait till year seven because the average marriage fails at year seven. Because year seven, the baby switch will come because women are going to do the baby switch. They're not because that's what happened to uh, some people that I know. The married, the wife was acting all good for the first couple of years, but then they started to act different and they're doing the baby. We all know about the baby switch. Yeah. They start to act totally different than, than what they perceive themselves when they got married. Right. Oh, yeah. Not to mention, like, um, on a side note, do you know, like, Tori Spelling's mom got married at a young age? Like, she got married. She wasn't even 18 yet, I believe. But she got married to um, the dad who passed away. Um, he, was, he was famous in Hollywood. Um, I think they were divorced. But yeah, she got married at a real early age. And right, like I can, I can go on and on about that. But like, there were like some like certain like men who are blue pill and just uh, like sucked out of their money financially those divorce rates are are like are deadly like deadly than your average venomous snake they're just gonna like leave value like be homeless um like uh false claims and like you know like they'll believe the woman more than they believe men this is how screwed up this you know country is yeah you got men that'll, that, that, that'll sell out your brother your other man for women you got dudes that'll kill other men for women that vagina is very powerful to, to be sex mm -hmm. very powerful yep I remember uh Angry MGTOW. Um Angry Mig? Was, Um Angry MGTOW. Uh, oh, oh, I think somebody angry man. Go ahead. Um no, this is like back in 2016, uh, when I was starting being my MGTOW stage at the time. And like um I was at my infancy infancy, by the way. Um I was actually like he was saying something deep about women. He said, like, women's vagina is like an incubator. Um, like, holds in, like, a lot of dirt. And, like, like whatever, like, air air can actually be, like, consumed, wherever, like, bacteria can be consumed inside that vagina. And you said, interesting enough, like, it is deadly, in a sense, physically. Because, like, um... It can like hold much dirt, and women don't really like wash their vagina. They're the uh, vaginal yeah. area. You get nasty. Yeah. Have you ever met some chicks with, with with bad hygiene? They're what? With bad hygiene. Have you ever met some chicks with bad hygiene? Oh That's yeah, yeah. Spaces. Yeah, I'm one. Sure experience. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like um that that's the same one that taught me about um that was like one of the things that actually taught me about being a MGTOW, like just understand them. This is like the same friend I was being a narcissist. And she was like a year year older than me, even though her birthday is in the same month. And like uh, she had like bad hygiene. She would I remember at the age of nineteen, I like walk up to her house. And like she lived across the street from the library, and um, I remember she followed. She would talk about this dude named uh, like Quinn. I think that's his name, Quinn. And he would um, fall in love with him, and he was a bad boy, of course, the way he was dressing, and like how his impressions was, and. Like I was, I was like really surprised and marveled at the time that she had fallen in love with these dudes, and of course he hid and quit it. And she would brag about it like, like days later, how he fell in love with him. And um, it was a time I believe I was trying to fix her, but you know, years to come, like a couple years later, 
Well, I should say like, um, when was this? Like three years later, like I'll say, forget it. Like then she went out with this Filipino dude. I have like this interracial relationship and I was like, nah, I, I don't want to do it deal with this anymore. Then we haven't talked ever since. So. Well, you were friends with this chick? Yeah, I befriended her when I was like 19 or 20. And just like want to be with her because of her beauty. But I didn't know better at, knew any better at the time. So. Yeah, man. I learned my lesson. I, pers- I used to be friends with women, but I'm not friends with women anymore. I don't think men and women can really be friends. They can't. I don't know why why people are trying to oppose it, saying like men and women can be friends, unless there's like a spiritual, you know what I mean, like a spiritual violation that make any sense. Like she just like, have nowhere, just have sex with you, knowing that you and you and you and her both know she's in a relationship. You know what I mean? It, it, it don't make sense to me. It's a waste of my time. Why would I be friends with, with, with a female for? I'm not benefiting from it. She's gonna be benefiting. Yeah. And most of the time, dudes that dudes that are friends with females, those females are gonna take advantage of you. And and let's just keep it real. Nine times out of ten, you're gonna like one of the girls in that friend group, and she meets this Chad of Tyrone. She sets her eyes on him. They're fucking the next ten minutes that they meet. Right. But you're doing them all these favors, and you get nothing out of the deal. I don't, I don't do friends with females, man. Screw that. If it doesn't benefit me, then. There's nothing to talk about. Right. Yeah. And there, there are times where, like, I just, like, I was trying to, like, get um, a girl's phone number. Then, like, it was this dude. <laughs> uh, I remember this dude was like, uh, was like, are you effing, like, are you effing my girl? I was like, no. Then I just left that alone. And this is, like, a woman that was, like, two years Basically, like two years older than me, and we went to the same high school with each other. But that was when, like, I was really horny. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was just trying to hit it off. But she had like tattoos, and it turns out she was with another dude that was probably toxic as hell. I assume never met him in person. So, like, I, I just then I just left women like 2014 and after. I just left women alone. I would just be my own man. Like, literally. Yeah, man. College women, man. Fellas, don't let that, don't let that smile and all that, that soft tone fool y'all. The deep inside is a demon. Mm-hmm. Tell y'all, man, they're not good people, man. This is all an act, man. That's why I believe, that's why Hollywood's put women in movies. They know how to act. You see, a wife, she can be sucking a dude's dick while her husband's at work. But when the husband comes home, she acts like she, she can put on an act like nothing happened and the husband will fall for it. I've been hearing stories of, of uh, wives cheating on their husbands at the job, sucking co-workers' dicks. It's like, man, how, how much more evidence do you guys need? How much more do you guys need to, like, what's it going to convince guys to understand that there's no hope? Give up. Mm-hmm. What's it going to take? I gave up. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, like you, you'll be amazed of like how like Hollywood use like actors as props, quote unquote props, because that's that's not how how it is in the U.S. Especially now, because you got like a women that just that cheats. You have like some movies that help have that part, but. There's no like happy home. You now you have like technology nowadays, like now you can go through like women's cell phones. You have like surveys on YouTube where like you have like people who are like are hosts, then like um tell like see if like if your woman's cheating on you, then like you'll be stunned with like what they'll actually do. Like what actually did on that cell phone. And like men will just like walk away 
and why just like go on their own path and not trust that woman again. You know, I sure as hell don't trust them. <laughs> it, it's all an act, bro. Like it's all hack reality and Hollywood. So like there, there's there is nothing new. It's definitely nothing new. Yeah, man. And and shout out to brothers like you and then all the guys in chain. We're making content. Um we're making content to wake brothers up. And um and then I want to make an announcement, but I'll save it till the end. Um, and, and I know that uh, this has been a great stream. Um, any other topics you want to discuss about yourself or anything for the for the other for the brothers? Um, man, just watch out for women uh, nowadays in Western society because now they have like technology used as a weapon. Not only that, but social media platforms as well. Uh, watch out for like uh, Bumble. I think that's like the new dating app, I believe. Um, it's been out for a couple of years since 2018, 2017. Yeah, yeah like I don't really, really catch up year. the apps nowadays. I really I don't. I in like two years. Yeah, um, Tinder is a prime prime example of like, women having catfish and stuff. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, you got fat chicks on t- on uh, Tinder. They be using pictures from 2011. But when you see them in person, they're actually fat bitches. <laughs> Women are so fake, man. They they stoop so low that they got put print pictures from seven years ago. That shows how that shows how insecure they are. Fellas, don't waste your time on dating apps, man. You're gonna find trannies up there, single moms, fat chicks. There's overall women with, with, with that are 49ers, force think they're nuts. This is trash up there, man. You're better off going your own way, staying single. And um, blind, blind says MGTOW. Why won't men value freedom? And MGTOW is amazing. I love coming home. When, when I came home from being on the road, right, into my apartment, I was like, ah, peace and quiet. I love my freedom. I'm going to enjoy this, bro, till I die. Why don't men value freedom, the peace, prosperity, the quiet, the tranquility? Yeah, uh, I think it's it's the need of seeking validation. It's the need of like the and this goes back to R and B music nowadays and like the depression of music. You know, if I need a woman and stuff, when women still indeterminately still showing their fallacies of like manipulating men and men don't embrace the tranquility they embrace the the damnation and the witchcraft that they really want to die for they are dying for the pussy they are dying for they they just they basically going like that that's like basically metamorphically speaking like you want to be with that woman who's like have like this queen of the damn image you mm-hmm. basically go through like knife and machete and gun wound just to be with that woman that's how deep i'm gonna get like they don't really see that like they want to like embrace they want to have like a satanic household to the point where women nagging on you, breathing down your neck, can't embrace your re- freedom, more than happy to stab you. And it's like having like this movie called Play Misty for me. A Clinton Eastwood uh, classic in the early 70s. Basically that woman, you have that Misty image going to like more than happy to violate, physically violate you and kill you and do whatever with the truth when you're no longer active. That's why, like, men don't want to have, like, tranquility because it, it's the it's, it's the the commitment of like, I, I just don't want to be brave anymore, so I just want to like, have a woman question my bravery, my confidence, um, my status, my my perfection in life, my my um like um 
fanatically speaking, like having like question your like like how like how can a woman can lower my burden in life when she is a burden, a plot twist, when she can do whatever with your money, your life, your status, you no, know, like um basically take over your household, you know, like a terrorist. She is a terrorist. <laughs> Shit. If you well, let it happen. Well, let's be real. A lot of men will let it happen as long as they get coochie. Yeah. That's, that, that's what's sad. Men will men are willing to give up their peace of mind. They're willing to lose block thousands of dollars. They're willing to lose their, their dignity, their lose their integrity just to get a piece of ass. Yes. So sad. So sad, and and I thank God that I found the red pill and I, and I went MGTOW. I feel like to me, I know my dad was like, son, MGTOW's not in the Bible. I was like, dad, it, you see, you can't always look at it from a literal sense. You gotta look at it like this, right? Right. I feel like th this has to happen. Th th there was gonna be a reaction. There's no way that men are gonna keep putting up with this. I met truckers on the road I said, man, I ain't dealing with these chicks at all, man. I'm just going to stack my bread and mind my business. Screw that, all that other stuff. Because me personally, I drive trucks. I love I love driving trucks. I make good money. I'm able to maintain my uh, my apartment, my car. Well, my car is paid off. And mm -hmm. do something that I enjoy. It's peaceful. Because my last job, I was in the military. I was working in an office full of women. And it was miserable. I can't stand them. So, I've, you know, I got my CDL up in the military, did what I want to do, and now I'm happy. I did six mm -hmm. months over the road, and now I have a dedicated account making more money, and I can come home every week. So God has definitely, you know, blessed me. And people can say what they want about MGTOW. I don't care what they say, but the result is MGTOW, you win. It's freedom. It's peace. And the best is yet to come. Yeah. The best is yet to come, brother. Yeah, we just had to see it that way. Yeah, like men might need to value their freedom. Because my mom said best, like today, not today, but tomorrow is never promised. So we have to like live our life, value being alive every day. That's the number one central thing that God let us breathe. Breath, breathe, let us walk around. You know, let us like, do something with our lives besides women. Um, I even have like now and days, like ever since I have like dreads, like I have like my hair and stuff, like women just been like looking at me and stuff, like just staring at me. But like the difference is women are socially inept, so like I just roll my eyes and just move on, you know, mm -hmm. embrace my freedom, being strong, you know, like doing like push ups, jumping jacks. Yeah. Reading, which I need to get back on is reading. Um, Me too. I'm not going to lie. I need, to, I need to get back to reading too. I'm not going to lie to you. I need to. Yeah, like doing like a, not like a new venture, which is being an electrician. You know, like I, I want to do something with my life that like my mom been a dictator of, being the opposition of my mom being a dictator of. You know what I mean? Like I, I like just trying to like be my own man. Even though mm -hmm. I grew with my mom without a dad, but it's no excuse of like being a man still because you have other men who are like minded out here that's going through the same things as you do. And you have like, you know, like men who are in relationships, don't get mad, don't get jealous, don't get envious. That's my yes. man. Like, mm -hmm. behind closed doors, it's a lot worse than going through because, like, Trust me, the friends that I mentioned earlier on this live stream, they're going through pure hell. Especially the friend that like old who's the, yet old, like the same age as me. He has like two baby mamas. Two baby mamas. Two and like two children at that. So do the math. Like I, I have I have nothing to do with that. So I have nothing to do with your stress, but the same per press, the same person who questions your virginity, your sexuality, your personal life, 
is the same person who's a warrior ward in the sin. I have nothing to have going on in this life. And just remember that. Amen, man. The blindness has to make tell, and this is why you're, and this is why, brother, God, God is blessing you. And I feel like you're, you're making content for a reason. I feel like I was led to make content for reasons to reach brothers out. Now, of course, I can make my message more, less cursing and all that stuff. And I'm gonna work mm -hmm. on that. But I just want men to know, hey, listen, you do have value. Society may not value, but value yourself. Right. Don't worry about <clears throat> who likes you, who doesn't. Handle your business. Right. Have a have a plan in place. Do what you have to do to execute it. Because again, like you said, we're not promised tomorrow. You know, make your life worth living, man. Don't don't work your butt off just to get females. Because what they're gonna do is they're gonna reap. They're basically gonna leech off your success. And you're gonna feel empty. Why be why, why be with someone that's gonna make you feel empty? That's the end right. of the Okay, she, okay, she'll drain your balls once in every blue move, but but at the end of the day, you're not happy. I know some married men, bro. You know they tell me, "Hey, bad man, I sometimes I wish I just don't want to wake up." Right. It's that bad. Marriage, having a girlfriend and having a wife is not what it's cracked to be, man. Dudes really believe that a lot of married men are happy. They're really not, man. They're not. Right. I, I know some truckers, they do OTR to get away from their wives. They stay on the road to get away from their wives. That's what they tell me. I don't blame one bit. Why do you think like they just been like, I don't know what truckers do in their lives. I really don't. That's why um, they just like have another grill. Like uh, just to, like have like a certain hotel, like just have sex with them and leave them. And like, I understand like sex is a stress relief. I it totally is. get that, but you know, at the end of the day, like you just gotta like value your freedom. And I can value, I can value my freedom so much. It's to a point where I can like have like a. A medium or a large size piece of all to myself and play video. Mm, games. Yeah, like, I love that, man. And just like, you know, watch a video off of YouTube or watch a movie, you know? Yeah, just chill. Because yep. um, I plan on getting a, a Nintendo Switch since I'm going to be on the road more than home. I'm going to buy, yeah. buy, I'm, I'm buy me a Switch. I'm going to drop, uh, deliver my load, shut down, and just play my game and just chill, man. Work out in the truck. I'm going to bring my, um, my resistant bands there. It's like, man, when when men realize that there's so much to life than females, man, when, when you develop hobbies and gain knowledge, I love to gain knowledge. That's why I like to look on the Internet, because I'm, I'm that type of guy. Blindness has to make time. I like to look up information on the Internet. I like to do research on stuff, interesting stuff like, hmm. So that's why the sky is blue. Oh, that's why the grass is green, because of pigmentation and all this stuff. I, I, like, right. to, I like to look up stuff. And um, it's just amazing. Like, oh, praying mantis. Once the um, once the uh, female and the male mate, the female uh, eats the eats the male mate. She actually eats them. I know you've heard about that, right? About the praying mantis. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, yeah. The the insect. Here's the interesting about um, yeah, like oh, yeah, praying mantis, like um. The male is small, the female is big. We get that, but that's like that goes for like spiders and like scorpions. But check this out though. Mm -hmm. What does spiders and scorpions have in common? Get this. They're related. They're both arachnids, right? Guess what though? They don't have no hierarchy. Oh. That's the deeper part. They don't have no hierarchy. Why do you think a spider lays their eggs? Then they create infestation. That goes for scorpions too. Think about it. Once you like, why do you think people get scared of like baby spiders and baby scorpions when they infest it? Because there's no hierarchy. Ants, 
surprisingly interesting enough, they have a hierarchy. You know why? There's a queen. And we get it. There's no king involved, but still. There's a standard. There's a structure. That's true. People don't really see that way in the uh, animal kingdom. Yeah. I think we got to be like tigers in the jungle, man. You see tigers, they're not with anybody. They're not like the lion try to be. And shout out to old school Tony Carter. He talks about being the, being the sigma male. Basically, uh, you have alpha traits, but 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 you, you just mind your business. You don't be telling about, oh, I'm this and that like the lion does. We're basically like, that's why I like the tiger. Because the tiger, he's not trying to show to everybody that he's alpha. He'll mess you up. Don't get it wrong. He's like this. You don't mess with me. I don't mess with you. I'm out of my business. Stay away mm-hmm. from my territory. You don't bother me. I won't bother you. That's why I respect the t- uh, the tiger, um, the sigma male. Um, Because I believe in that philosophy, too. Just doing your own thing, not being bothered. You just want to be left alone, mind your own business, and go about your day. Like animals... I feel like sometimes we can learn from animal behavior. We can. And, I, and, and to me, as a man, the tiger should be um, one of the great examples of, of, of what men should follow. You know, they're not trying to be no damn lion, try to show who's dominant. Because the tiger, I've seen a video, bro, I've seen a tiger take down two lions in the line, and both lines left. The tiger took both the lines by himself, mm-hmm. didn't have no help. Right. The, t- the tiger, man, is something about that tiger. Yeah, it, it doesn't really any help, but um, yeah, lions or tigers are different because you have like a lioness and uh, you know a lion. I mean, they they're together because they have a structure and a certain hierarchy. But tigers, they're they're they live in solitude. Um, why well, you know they have kids, but they teach their kids how to hunt. Um, the tigress. The female tiger take care of the kids more than the male. And that goes for cheetahs too. And it's certain it's certain like ones that are interesting about the feline kingdom that I question. You know, like I'm the tiger too. Like there are certain things that I go for. Um I don't know like go over go after females. I I never went after females. And like I don't care, like oh, why you don't go go out to females, Barnes asking because if you pay attention to female nature, you understand, and these will be the same men that bitch and complain about how much they have pussy. Like, uh, let me let me um salvage my language, but it, I ahead, always man. get irritated that like it'll be the same men that complain about like how much pussy they have. But it'd be the same woman that dupes you and like y'all get mad over it and y'all make a complete fools out of yourselves. Let's yep. see who, the plot twist is who, who got the last laugh. Because because uh Kingy MGTOW, right? I know you've heard of him, right? Kingy MGTOW. Yeah, yeah. This is what he said in a video. Um he made a statement because people be like. You're MGTOW because you're a loser. And King of MGTOW said, no, I'm MGTOW because I'm a winner. And King of MGTOW said this, and I always remember this. He says, when the smoke clears, you're going to see who the real losers are. Mm-hmm. So the people that that were talking junk about me and saying MGTOW is this and that, guess what? Those same guys, they're suffering. Mm-hmm. Calling us incels and losers and all that stuff. Their, lifers, their lives are miserable. Right. They're, they're the real losers. We're the winners. You know why we're the winners? Because we value ourselves. We value our time. We value our freedom. We can serve our energy for things that actually matter. We're put, we, we are putting ourselves first. We are willing to sacrifice being ridiculed for our own self-gain, for our own benefit. You know what I'm saying? Not in a selfish way, but bro, mm-hmm. we just want to live a good life, man. That's what we're trying to do. But society wants to make it harder. Right. And having a wife and a girlfriend, it, it makes things difficult. It's more work. Why do I want more work? Yeah, like, it's like, why are you building more work? It's, it's bad enough you have people building the pyramid. And it took, like, God know how many months or years to build it. You know, you can't work stuff overnight. 
And that's why I'm saying, like, men has this pyramid complex, which means that, like, it's work on top of work. Because what I mean by pyramid mindset is, is, like, they they over they overwork themselves, like, oh, I need to get this, oh, I need to get that. When knowingly enough, like, women hit you like a mat truck easily. And they don't even know it. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's up to us. It's what we choose. And, you know, I pray a lot. You know, I, I pray to God every day, like, hey, I hope I'm doing the right thing. And um, and, and that's him. I just, you know, take it one day at a time. I don't want to rush stuff. And um, I just want every man to know that, listen, you're valued. God loves you, whether you believe in God or not. Um, it's your choice, man. Don't feel like you need, you need, you need, you need. You need right. a woman. You need a woman. It's it's not true, man. You don't need them. You're not going to die. It's just like, I don't know how much you know, but it's up to the men, bro. And um, and that's really it, man. And um, th- this was a great stream, brother. It, it really was. Um, any other topics you want to touch on? before we uh, close it out um yeah like go ahead brother i just want you to i just want people to know i love you guys for thank you for being here for me uh for my uh vids and stuff i suggest you watch um i gonna i gonna do i think about doing videos in the future long run about like what can you learn from like this actor what can you learn from this actor because throughout the years man you like these these male actors and these people who have like potential, man. I don't know. It really sucks on my soul, but like they they died from like from nothing, man. Like they they died through divorce. They died from like gunshot wounds to like dying from another dude that wants his girl. But I highly suggest you guys watch um, the Benji Wilson um, thing if you haven't watched it. If you did, then you understand how it's connected to MGTOW. So it's ESPN 30. Uh, watch The Brood. Um, and watch, like, plenty of, like, question, like, male actors that have, like, spouses and significant others and how they went through divorces and deaths or near-death experiences. So that that's where I'm heading to. That's why I, I always question myself and Western society. And then if you want to go overseas, then go ahead. But there is when there's action, there's a consequence. You can't really change it. You can't really change a person. Most definitely can't change the universal law. Because it's already been here and been spoken for. Yeah, Oakland Soldier. Um, yeah, it was really emotional, man. Definitely emotional. And you you heard about a Batman. You heard about yes, um Bill Hartman. Uh yes. Yeah, like you heard about his death. Um, it was really emotional. Like I didn't cry about it, but he went through a major divorce, I believe. I think. Um, he died at a really young age, and you know, like um, I think he killed himself. Did he? I think. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was really it was sad, suicide. Man. I think suicide because yeah. because of, of a female. I believe. Hold on. Um, let me see. Because I think he didn't die from like a natural cause. Oh, let me look this up, bro. I'm trying to figure out. Um, had drinks. Um, she fairly shot him between the eyes once. Oh, shoot! What What's the up? hell? What happened? Yo, no, like her. Here's what happened. The wife actually shot Phil Hartman. She, she killed him. Eyes. 
with a point thirty eight caliber, dude. Wow. Let me see. Like I'm on Wikipedia now, and like if you go click on death, like that's crazy. Yeah, yep. And his and his wife killed herself too. Wow, that's messed up. I thought he died from suicide, but whoa. He died from a young age. Like that's See, man, yeah, these dudes like, are crazy, man. They crazy. Yeah, yeah. That that's why I was being MGTOW. That's why I learned from actors and athletes and people who are public figures. Yeah. Yep. So and, um fellas, please subscribe to Blind Assassins Make Child uh, channel. Mictile guy, what's up, brother? Salute to you, man. Salute to all you guys. I really appreciate all you guys coming. Please subscribe to this, brother. He makes great content. I'm so glad to do this interview with me. I've been wanting to do this interview with you for over a week, man, because uh, I've been looking at your stuff on and I was like, man, this is some good stuff. And Jay Mictile, shout out to him. I'm, I'm going to call him later. He, mm -hmm. he said a lot of great stuff about you. So, um, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Um, I really do appreciate you coming, man. Uh, in, any last words you want to say for the stream? Or, or, or if, you, if, if there's anything you want to talk about, we, we can still go. It's up to you. You're the guest. Uh, well, nah. Um, yeah, like, just, <laughs> I'm going to say something silly, but play, ahead, play more heard. video games. Play more video games. Do what you do. Leave these women, leave these Western women alone. You know, like, like eat more, eat healthy. Counterbalance your diet, which means, you know, eat junk food, but eat healthy still. So that's what I do. So that that that's that's just me. So yeah, yeah, man. I really appreciate this. Appreciate the stream of Blind Assassin Make I really do appreciate you, brother. I'm glad that you came. Um, the stream was worth it. I've learned a lot. The, the brothers in the chat learned a lot. Um, there's yeah. so much out there, man. We just got to seek it. The knowledge is out there, and we just got to seek it, man. Success is out there. We just got to seek it. Mm -hmm. We got to seek it. It's not going to come to us. We got to go to it. So um, what, you put up, what you put in comes out, and I definitely believe that. But I really, really appreciate you coming, brother. And you have my email. You can, you can always email me anytime, man. And um and if you want my phone number, you can email me and I'll, I'll email it to you, brother. We can talk on the phone. We can three-way with Jay MGTOW if we want to. It's up to you, brother. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We can definitely do that um, after the stream. Um, and actually, um, don't mind if I upload this on my channel, right? Don't mind if I do that? Oh, the stream? Yeah. Go ahead. It's fine. Yeah, I just want to do that. Um, it's no problem. Yeah, um, definitely. So, um, yeah, we can exchange phone numbers in the email, um, or we can do it by well, yeah, email, email, most definitely. So, yeah, I don't want trolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna do like private chat, but nah, it's I don't trust that either. Um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, it's good to talk to you, brother. Um, I'm gonna go relax because I got charged this Bluetooth. I got charged this headset. I got a, a pack because I'm going to be packing for tomorrow because Sunday I got to take a load to Tennessee. So I'm going to be very busy to, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, most def. I got to study for this final for uh, my electrician training quiz. So, so, so I got like, yeah, I got like, I actually got like, um, yeah, like three tests all together, but like two on December 6th and I got one on December 7th. Uh, coming up, so um, how's the I training for it? I, I, I'm gonna pray for uh, th that you pay, pass the test. So I'll be praying for you for that. Um, yeah, have you yeah, done any um, hands on I, yet, or have you done any hands on yet? I did, I did, I did like hands on, um, like the, the wiring, um, like the determinations and stuff. Yeah, um, then I got, I did like the outlet and stuff, like. Um, I don't I don't have like the tools yet, um, in all honesty. 
kind of empty-handed right now, but, like, I'm just working on, like, getting some tools for myself when I get myself financially situated. So, um, oh, wow, that's deep, uh, JJ Diesel. Uh, Egypt means bondage. I didn't know that. Wow. JJ Diesel, he's a smart brother. All I, you guys know, I didn't actually know me. that. Egypt means bondage. I That actually makes sense now. Because mm. the pyramid they built, and it was actually slaves, so that makes sense. Um, Dang. so that's, much that, that's that's real deep. Um, about to see if he's on there, but but um, yeah, thank you, uh, Oakland Soldier. Um, yeah, I'll thank you for telling me good luck. I'm gonna definitely, um, oh, yeah, I like Hyro Hieroglyphics, Oakland. You're of uh, o uh Hiro, Oakland. Soldier, um, definitely a big fan of old school hip hop. So, um, not just trying to ramble, but, um, but yeah, um, I'm I'm about to like study, uh, for the quiz. I, it's on my quiz is on December sixth. So, um, be in my prayers, brother. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm just keeping my head up high and like moving forward, man. And so. you see, shout out to you because you get into a trade. You get into yep. a, a actual trade because electricity is always going to be here. So, because I did um, HVAC in high school, I took HVAC class. We learned about wiring. I understand about the ground, uh, the the negative, the positive wire. You got the black wire, white wire, and the green for ground. And you did your wiring transformers with different voltages and all that stuff. Yeah. So I, I I got a little con a basic concept of wiring, and it's pretty interesting. It's cool. We, we use the meter. Follow the, mm. the, the wire schematics and it's all good, yeah. man. Yeah, but sorry yeah, for man. the background, dude. Um, it's it's um like my uh, friends' nieces and stuff. It, I don't have children. Again, I don't have children, so that's like um, oh, they're at your crib. Oh, they're at your crib. Yeah, yeah. Like they they're at my crib. They they just woke up like an hour or two ago. So it's like, well, they, uh, do they stay with you or are they just visiting? No, nah, it's like visit visiting. So. It's like um like they're they're just over here for the moment. So it's like it's I don't good. I don't like children or anything. So <laughs> I feel you, man. Yeah, they can be a blessing, they can also be a curse. <laughs> yeah, children are always a blessing. I'm kidding. They'll, they'll always be a blessing. It's just are you willing to uh, tolerate it? But but yeah, man, I really appreciate you, man. I'm gonna go uh, relax, uh charge the stuff up and uh, get ready to tomorrow get back in that truck and start making this money, man. Um, I'm going to be working overtime a lot. So um, definitely going to be, but yeah, fellas, please subscribe to this brother's channel, man. I'm going to put the link in the chat more time. Subscribe to this brother. And, and yeah, blind, uh, blind assessment. You can definitely upload the stream on your channel. You're, you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're always welcome to do that, brother. I don't mind it. The word has to get out there because there's a lot of men out there that, that need to, to wake up, man. A lot uh, of men that are in pain and, and they need this stuff, man. And it's free. We're not charging nobody anything. Um, we're really trying to get men to understand what's at stake. For sure. For sure. But yeah, man, God bless you. And, uh, and you take it easy. And to all you guys, I really appreciate all you guys. Um, around uh, December, I'm making an, an announcement on the channel. It's, it's really important. And um, I think on, on, on New Year's Eve or something like that, I'll probably make a, a little post um, pertaining to what's going to happen in 2023 or 2024. But, but other oh, than yeah. that, so what you guys, that's going to happen in 2023. Well, what do you think is going to happen in 2023? Um, well, it's going to be like a first and foremost, like a giant recession. Um, then they say it's going to be like a Rumor has it's gonna be like a purge in Chicago or something by letting inmates yeah. out. Yeah, that's gonna be January first. Uh, they're gonna let yeah. the inmates out in California. They're gonna let pedophiles out of prison too. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's gonna it's be like. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a low, bro. Like, it, it's just not gonna be good at all. And you gotta have like uh, the rise of food shortages and like rise of like food, uh, prices going up, gas prices going to be in the max. So like, you just got to be prepared, you know, like stay up, stay surviving. 
don't let females into your crib you know just have just be extremely goal oriented now it's a valuable time to do it now i'm i can't stress that enough so yeah fellas stay strapped up stay careful stack up on food and water i just went to the grocery store and i bought like stacks of freaking water i already got a lot of canned food um, the only thing i need to do is get some heat and i'm good i'll be working on that but you know one day one day at a time fellas please pray man i know some of you guys out there don't believe in god that's fine but, but please pray man we're in the spiritual war is serious out here it's no joke man but i believe that us men we're gonna make it through we, we have to go through these tough times you know tough times create strong yeah. men and um it's gonna be good man and, and remember fellas the best is yet to come yeah all right well I, i'm waiting for this thing to go at four hours <laughs> yeah me too it's literally about to go at four all right y'all you guys take it easy god bless y'all till next time peace peace man